Hey. You know what time it is when you hit them horns, man. I want to welcome you to the corner convo, episode five zero. We moving out here, man. We moving out here, man. I gotta let y'all know where y'all at at all times, though. At all times, at all times, you are on the corner. You gotta pull up. That shit feels stupid as hell. And I gotta reach around and rinse it off. You know what I'm saying? That shit's dumb. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. A corner, like thousands of others across the country. It's the place to go if you want to be seen. And to a lot of folks, it's the information center of the neighborhood. Our job is to spark somebody else watching us. We, we might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish. And because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should. Mug is in the bag, and the bag is the base, and the base never change. It's a groove. As soon as you hear that groove, I know I got you. My name is A-M-O-N. I will be your host for the evening. Let me go ahead and tell you who I am. I'm getting right to it because we're getting on some bullshit today. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. One of the best singers, one of the best looking motherfuckers you've ever seen. Hold my drink, bitch. Next up, next up, I got my boy A-B in the building. What up? Sometimes you got to do certain shit. It's just enough that people know in country. that, you know, I go where I need to go you to get it better. If you push my button, there's no telling what I may do. Stab you, choke you, bite you. I mean, whatever it takes to make a motherfucker stop you. Exist, and I will do that. I will do that. Listen here, man. Let, let, let's turn up. Let's turn up, man. We, 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 too, we too lax. I'm, I'm really not feeling the energy. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the energy, man. You know what I mean? Let's do something different out here. I'm an African. I'm an African genius. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Russell, what are Nope. <laughs> now you will follow me as the African genius. <laughs> What a whale! Out of handcuff lightning, throw thunder in jail. That boy, that That's bad. That he really means That's that. That's a true man. statement. I definitely mean that in real life. All right, man. Look, y'all, my good. Y'all, y'all straight. Everybody good. Think we think we good and clean there, chief. All right, man. All like right, I say, it, man, y'all do all the hard and heavy lifting. Pause. Y'all do all the heavy lifting. I just be here and try to help. Well, we appreciate you, man. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I no argument here, buddy. I just, <laughs> don't know exactly what you're expecting me to say. <laughs> First of all, how was y'all week? Can we can we start there? Because I, I need I need some energy, man. Pick, let's pick it up. Let's go. This, this is number five oh, man. It was just a week, bro. It was just he a week. Just gonna hit you with the super lamest drive. It was, it was just, just, a just a week, bro. Just a week. No, that's no it was dope because I uh, hit the gym one day. I, I missed the gym because I had training and it worked. They sent me to this crisis crisis intervention training, which I really love doing because. There are a lot of people out here that are suffering from the month we just left. We just talked about mental health for a whole month. We gave it love. We always give it love, you know what I'm saying? And I, uh, I went to this training, a refresher course. I can tell you, there are some terrible police out here talking to people. They mean well, but they can't convey their message. So I left there one day, went to the gym. I walked to the gym, my dad's close to 70. Guess who's in the gym getting money? My old man. That really? shit motivated me so motherfucking yeah, much. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. Uh, I went to do shoulders. I did shoulders, back, arms, legs, neck. Anything you could do, I did that. Dude. And uh, it was like, cool, fam. As long as I see you in the gym, I'm keeping my heart. That's that's oh. gangster, bro. I, I I played basketball with my pops 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> the last athletic thing we've, had, we've ever had. <laughs> but you know what scared me, though? I was in the gym, and I saw a 17-year-old white guy with a mullet, bro, and two parts on the side. I thought I had stepped into a time machine. That's a little terrifying. I'm like, what? I'm that's a little terrifying. I'm glad I'm almost done. So get the fuck out of here. His name, was was Biff. his name was Biff, too. Of course. Not, not Biff from uh, Biff. Uh, uh, Back to the hey, Future. I am lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> so I'm going to get this man a name. <laughs> I just, you asked the brother's name. I guess you want to find, hey, excuse me, uh, potential terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> Might not get your first and last name and what high school you went I to. I not asking that man nothing. He came to the machine next to me. I got up and left. Yeah, I feel yeah, that. that's, that's a real thing. <laughs> now, nah, uh, man, it was a good week, was that, bro. brother? It was a good week, man. I'm trying to recap it, man. Um... You know, I, I talk. We talk about my older brother a lot because he's a cool guy, and absolutely, it's like one of my best What's, friends in life. What up, cousin? Mosi, Mo, Mo, up, Mo Mosi Skrilla, um, who? Yeah, well, I'll talk about that later. Anyway, so <laughs> he was in town, and uh, we painted the town red in old traditional fashion. Man, we used to kick it when he used to live here. Man, we had epic nights, and he reminded me exactly of what they felt like yesterday. So shout out to him. Um, it was a good week, man. I mean, work is winding down, bro. We got one one last week of school, um, yeah. which is interesting because just like thinking about a whole year of virtual learning, 
wrapping up in a week, man. Um, it's been cool. It's been cool, man. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything so else super significant, right but I don't think so. There. So many yeah, I, um, I don't I don't really remember the weeks, man. Like I live in the moment so much. I need y'all to sometimes remind me of shit that has happened. That's that's just me. Just right? mark your life by the, the, lives, the lives you do, bro. Yeah. It gets a lot of attention. No, 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 them shits is real. <laughs> <laughs> them shits is real. Them shits is real. Those, yeah, those keep the profits up. Let me be very clear. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, fuck it. Um, I'm about to say I have a beef with you, brother. Okay. Um, I don't know how you're gonna take this, oh. but yeah, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> so you've been preaching all, all year long, man. Six. Lakers in five, Lakers in six. And uh, yeah, they out of there. Man. Lakers Gone in 20, 26. That's what you yeah. really talking about. Lakers yeah. in 20. He about to, they about to crush that whole squad. Look, LeBron man. about to, yeah, it's about to be over with. It, uh, it's fucked up. I, but this is the first year in a long time I didn't bet any money on my guys. Health just wasn't there. It wasn't there. So, so I, I'm no dummy. I've been bleeding purple and gold since Magic, who we're going to talk about, too. Since Magic yeah. Johnson. Matter of fact, on the basketball court, my old man's nickname is Magic because he dribbled with his back to the basket. Just, <laughs> just like that, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, be the dot dot your fucking eye. Dig that. In a heartbeat, you know what I'm saying? Through Magic and Kareem. I caught the lot the tail end of that. Through Kobe and Shaq. I was there for all that. I'm here for LeBron on the Lakers. But we couldn't get it done this year, man. You know, and my phone blew up. I had all kind of... IMs, all kind of DMs, all kind of text matches, all kind of, I had a carry picture come to my, my fucking door. He said a carry picture. <laughs> with, with a whole motherfucking L. <laughs> you know motherfucker mother, mother got you an NFT. You know what the NFT is? No you know, free throws, no, 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 no bullshit. So NFTs are like moments in time that you can save in the, uh, let's say a picture of us, right? When, okay. we, when we get signed, right? They'll have this picture that we just took and they'll have it for themselves. That's called NFT. And in space, you own it and you can sell it later. Right. It's, it's some weird shit. Yeah, it sounds, it's, it's, it's your, super your weird. It's not helping me understand up, it at all. You People make, Google NFT. It's some I weird shit. Like a stock thing that's called NFT. No, 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 no. This, this, this is like memorabilia that is saved now uh, forever in time. Forever in time. And it's yours. It's yours. Where, where, it's where do they keep thing. it in the Smithsonian or some shit? No, like, like, <laughs> like in, 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 the, in the iCloud space. It's some weird shit. It's some super weird yeah, shit. Definitely. All right. Definitely again, <laughs> I challenge you to Google. Matter of fact, do it now. No, no, no. Do it now. Look up it. NFTs. No, here's to my question. Here's my. Here's what I really want to ask you though. So, do you really think, like, and shout out to Anthony Davis from Chicago? Always, we want to show love to the fellas. Do you really think it was because Anthony wasn't there? Yes. Okay. That that and you got to face it, man. LeBron James has been great. He's been godlike on the court for a very long time. He's thirty six, about to be thirty seven. He's still very fucking great, but he's past the time where he can do it on his own. He's past that. I tell everybody this. LeBron left elite defense when he left Miami. He left it there in South Beach. LeBron yeah, left yeah. to go get him, dominate a game yeah. in Cleveland, the second state in Cleveland. In L.A., he coasting, and he's so good. His coasting just still had him in the top five uh, for the MVP race until he got hurt. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But uh, Is it we, time for him to hang it up? Fuck no. How many fuck years do no. you think he got? He's got two. He's waiting on Bronny. I don't give a There's no guarantee Bronny's coming. Oh, it is. You know who his dad is? If LeBron says, my say, son. What the fuck does that mean? Mike got two sons that actually Mike played. Mike balls, though. So Bronny ain't, no ain't no bum? Bronny ain't no bum? No. I don't know if Whoa. Bronny's a bum or not, but no. I also don't. But that was a different era. Mike, Mike got to call certain shots. That wasn't one of them. Owners of teams. Mike's peers weren't owners of teams, right? Dwayne Wade is an owner of a team. He's a part owner of a team, what's, bro. What's his boy that his, the agency? Uh, Rich Paul. Rich Paul. Right. Like, less, they have way more control over the negotiation table of players that get to the league than Mike's era. You know what yes. I'm saying? Uh, I feel you, though. I feel like at the end of the day, man, I would never, I never, I never say nothing bad about LeBron as a basketball player or as a person because he's, he's, he does things that nobody's ever done he's before at a level that nobody's ever done it before. Um, I do not like the way about some of the politics that, you know what I'm saying, he mm -hmm. rolls, but that's, that's, I mean, it's his business. We were talking earlier about uh, Damian Lillard, right? Right. Like, I look, I think Damian Lillard Get is, out of Portland, is, is like my favorite player in the game, right? But right. he's being penalized in a lot of ways. People, people get on LeBron about switching teams and all like that, but Damian Lillard is working his ass off for the same team and getting the nothing same in return. Results, though. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like Exits. Losses. I love who exactly. he is as a as a hooper. I love his his loyalty to the team, but what? it's not benefiting him. Where was Melo in this playoff series? The, the, Melo definitely didn't. Where show was he up. at? Thinking, thinking about when KG said Lala tastes like honey nut Cheerios. Oh my god! Ten years ago. Yeah. Shout out to KG, man. Hey, KG, what up, Lord? What up? Boy, yeah, congratulations, KG. This mark actually gonna say, ain't nobody gonna uh, get on Kyrie ass about stomping on Lucky, fam. 
Do you understand? Lucky is a it's a logo in the middle of the court that gets walked on 48 minutes uh, <laughs> for like 41 games a year. Shut the fuck up, Kevin. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Nah, Plus, I'm right with Kevin. Mike right. ain't helping his his key. He wasn't helping his kids get to the pros. He was too busy out here fucking. Yeah. Period. Yeah. All I right. mean, Kevin Garnett. I know Mike. Test. I know Mike personally, so I'm not gonna let you oh. just slander that he brother was like that. Fucking. I don't know what Mike was doing. I think the right. man on diversity. Just oh, boys, let me stop playing. I got a whole contract. You, you just you can't do that. I, sure you can't too. do that. <laughs> sure, it was bad. <laughs> this nigga out here snitching. So you out here snitching? He was single. <laughs> Okay, well, don't he was single then. So, so the statute of limitations is, is gone. Well, I need to stay through. Mike had 95 bitches before I need to left. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> All right, that's sure, nobody, sure man. She ain't the only one. God damn, man. Hey, I want to I wanna go ahead and play this clip, man, from your boy, uh, Magic talking about your boy Schroeder. <laughs> Schroeder, I don't think he a Laker, he's a Laker, and that's just my opinion. Um, wow, I don't what? know if they're gonna sign him back or not. I, I don't, don't think Nigga, you in he uh, brings the winning mentality and all- attitude that we need. And love magic, though. he had a chance to show that in this series. And to me, uh, he failed in this series. So, Oof. but again, if he comes back a Laker, I'm going to support him. I'm going to cheer for him and all that. But I don't, I just don't think he's a Laker. Schroeder, I that nigga ain't cheering for that nigga. Bro, but he, ain't, he ain't keeping him there. Isn't he like the president of basketball operations? Is that correct? Something or the GM some shit, right? Yeah, he and, and, and then he went in on uh, Palenko, right? You have the power. You saying that is enough to get him out of there. And Schroeder, like, I want to be a Laker. Magic says, get you the fuck out of here. That's, that's Immediately. That's a serious indictment of your skill set when the man says flat out, I don't think you got I it. You. I just <laughs> don't think that. you got it. He was he like, you had a that. chance to show it. You didn't. You ain't got it. That's that's a strong indictment. But I also ask me this: If Schroeder's not a Laker, who else on that team who was garbage this Kuzma. this year is not a Laker? Kuz didn't show like, up. Kuzma, uh, the Drummond. Vogel's rotations were were very bad. They were awful in the playoffs. People, oh my 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 young boy from uh, Simeon, not to cut you off. That's my boy. That's the Chicago yeah. love. Yeah, yeah Chicago Tucker. love up you know, North North Pole. You got to give Magic words a lot of credence. You know why? The man took HIV and slayed it. <laughs> that's not just um. That's not. I mean, he also is an absolute legend in his <laughs> game. Like, yes, you know what I'm saying. He got the personality. Chris he did find the power. <laughs> he a legend in two games. Like Pee Wee Kirkland. Oh, <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Magic, man. <laughs> yeah. But you know, uh, ultimately, it's gonna come down to the player we were just talking about. If they can't find anybody to replace Schroeder, you know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? You gonna keep him? But you're not gonna get that 80 mil. You can't ask for 80 fucking mil and put up a goose egg. Yeah, Facts. that's you cannot Facts. do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So LeBron will holler at Magic, and then they're gonna talk to Palenka, then call a shooter in the room. It's gonna be a light swing like Men's of Society when he said, you know, you fucked up, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm they might they might put him on the wall for, for uh for a minute, no cover up to get his mm, shit together. Violation. You know get your shit together, bro. You know, my sign him back. Who knows? What y'all think about uh Jason Kidd possibly getting up out of there? I mean, he should be a head was, coach, in my opinion. I think. It, but is he a good head coach? Head coach? He yes, was. He had, had this discussion. He had a couple of times. Couple we've, opportunities. We've seen the stats. The man has done great coach. things as a he head coach. coach. Yeah. yeah. And there's definitely plenty of coaches that need to be fired. So I don't Facts. see why he's not. I don't think. He's is it, is it a black job. thing? Was it, as my boy Kwame Kwame Brown for president? Uh, it's always a black thing when it comes to get along, get along, gang. Hierarchy of sports. Some who, your mama's cooking, huh? Mama's yeah. Cooking. He been he been letting people have it. Your mama's cooking, man. Kid. Has relationships with so many players. Exactly, right. it's unreal. Exactly, he has to be on somebody's staff somewhere. But the question is, you got players like Sam Cassell out here as well. They they're gonna try to lure Jawan Howard out of Michigan. I heard Sam they is up him. for that spot at um, Boston. At Boston, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are like like saying they and and, and that that all of that conversation about racism and all like mm-hmm. that. They don't want niggas in Boston. No, man. but that's that now they're at a space where Danny Ainge retired. After saying that goofball like, shit. Like immediately he, after, he huh? had to. Right, exactly. So my point is like now that pressure is there. If they don't hire a black coach, they it's going to look bad. Here and Cassell's a dope. Here go Danny Ainge. Niggas not a word. Then he walked away. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then he just left. Like, like, like most not a word. people do when, uh, when it's time to go, man. But yeah, get these people jobs, man. Give them jobs. These guys are good enough. They have relationships with these players. With the staff, the trainers, all these people, man, give them jobs. Yeah, they legends, man. They definitely what, deserve what, a shot. Speaking of legend, uh, Coach K, legend, legend. Chicago. Fuck out of here. And he, oh, I know you're gonna go in. And, and, and he's, he's from, from Chicago. Excuse my language. He is from Chicago. Respect that man. I went to the same high school we went to before I came to Lane Tech, bro. 
I understand that. I what did, that what did he do to you? Let's talk about what did he do to you? Besides two cans. Now Sandy. back to yeah. the mental Who's trauma. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get back into this again, deep trauma again. With, again, uh, for all of our listeners who don't know, he's a D1 athlete, former professional athlete. Something happened between him and Coach K. Matter of fact, I don't know if he made you run suicide. What? Yeah, dramatic. yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's let's get into it. If there is ever a hypocrite in in <laughs> D1 sports, it's that motherfucker right there. For years, he championed. Uh, against the one and done. He hated Calipari. He hated it. I while while Coach Cal up here lacing players' pockets, getting the men, promising them pros, getting them to the pros, and producing winners in the pros. Coach K was on the other side getting all his love, uh, producing mostly mediocre pros. Mostly mediocre pros. You know what I'm saying? And saying, kids got to stay in college. You know why? Because you want that money. It's the reason your, your, your contract is how many million a year? Way too fucking much. You know I, what I'm saying? I agree with you on one point. I agree with you on the fact that he was definitely anti one and done, right? But they got Zion Wilson. They got Kyrie. They got well, Tatum. I don't think that was so much under his control as it was institution Jeez. control, right? He, while he ran that program, I think everybody knows Coach K was in charge. There was definitely one or two what? decisions where, when it came to this one and done thing, that changed the complexion of basketball, right? So, even if he would have stayed away from it. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have mattered, right? They're gonna go somewhere, and, and it's a big business. So I don't know that that was Coach K's fault. I agree that he flopped on it. I will say this though, he did put forty five people in the NBA, and most of them are not one and dones. So like the conversation about the fact that probably of that forty five, a good 35, 37 number. are four year, fully educated athletes. Fuck all that. They would have college to play basketball. Right, but they now, they, but they graduated degree, with degrees, bro. Like that's not that's a, the top five. And you're talking to an educator really who's who's really really, really, he's not five going. Five really good players out of all his legacy. Uh, out of out of, out of Duke. Out of Duke. Five ones that keep Grant. Okay, Grant Hill, Kyrie, Jason Tatum. Keep going. Um, Trajan Langdon. That's my personal favorite. Like, no, what? I, how would you possibly? Because <laughs> he was I love Trajan Langdon. He was crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. But he did. Uh, he, he's not in this. Fuck it, Jason Williams. Don't do that. Before he got hurt, he was no one trap. Don't do that. Yeah. What did he pan out to? He got hurt. Nothing. He was stupid. Give me argue Elton Brand. I was gonna say uh, EB. I, I would have the longest solid. thrill out of them. Yep. JJ Reddick. True. Facts. Shout out to JJ. Mike, Mike Dunley V. Oh, it's touching your soul yeah, now. Yeah. Bro, come on now. That's a good point. All right, all right. But you champion, you champion Christian Leitner, Cherokee Parks, Thomas I, Lang. Facts. Johnny Dawkins was cool. Grant Hill. I fuck with Johnny. Grant Hill. I fuck with Johnny. Yeah, we said the Grant Hill. I said Thomas Hill. I meant to say Thomas Hill. Sorry. I meant to say Thomas Hill. All these hills. You know I'll, I'll say this, man. I respect. Number one podcast, y'all. I respect. I respect Coach K. For having that kind of a career, and and to be very honest, all of those players, whether they were legends or not, everybody talks about Coach K as somebody, except for you, actually. <laughs> That's what I told Like he's never been called in a scandal. As like what someone, I sent you a story. Yeah, you did. did. Although, yeah, who is that course. guy? Who's yeah, that guy? Right now in Boston, but who? Man who? Career. Yeah. another mediocre Duke player. Who? 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 But that Simi scandal. Ogilvy. But that scandal. Oh, yeah. That scandal was you know, very weak. Should have beat his ass. It was a very <laughs> weak scandal, though, bro. It was like. He yelled at me one time in practice. No, he like, come mama. on. What? So what, man? No, like, you, that's you not, right. that's not like right. Joe, super you right. scandalous you type right. of shit, I, I put it on Ojale's dad now. You want to fuck Coach K up. <laughs> it's on his pops now. Yeah, pops, boy, pops, you a whole ass dude. <laughs> he, he, not like Coach. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened at Weber in that practice, man, but it must have been real. I'm at the Coach, Coach K's here, y'all. You don't line and run. We're gonna run forever. I'm That's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> Larry Bird. I Larry, told you, man, they do suicide, bro. Larry I Bird told... came to Indiana State. Larry Legend. Yeah. Top ten playing the NBA. Our coach didn't make us run around the Holman Center for, for 25 hours. So why are you mad at Coach K? They why you not mad at your trash ass high school coach? Listen to me. The, the beef is with him. <laughs> Actually, in the Catholic League, Weber was a fucking powerhouse. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But a powerhouse. You, but your coach did that. I played against K played didn't against do that. McNabb. Yeah. I played, I saw Walker play. I was too young. I was on uh the far south before I left and he was on the varsity. First of all, Twan was a true hospital. Yeah, Ball Walker. That Ooh. shit wasn't real. That shit was Shout out to Twan, man, friend of the show. He was one he again, he was one of them early big men that could handle the rock and nice. push and take that power point that uh and that point boy forward. Shot everything from the free from the other inbound line. Yeah, well, he, he definitely was, was, he, was, was, he, was gunning. he was gunning. <laughs> So, but Larry Bird came to see us, talk to the coach, talk, give him a motivation, a motivational speech. The dude, we stood in the huddle. The man smelled like he owned Revolution, Revolutionary Brewery, bro. Oh, really? He was going to the pace, bro. He, he just fucked up. He said, yeah, I bet y'all coach that y'all can't make, I think it was 72 layups in like a minute. 
doing this, something like that. And we lost every time. It was an impossible bet. Right. <laughs> right. Impossible bet. Y'all, y'all, y'all dumbass, like, and you mad. I know but you was mad. Was it the lesson that you tried hard? Fuck out of here. Really, <laughs> he don't get you really pushed no yourself to do your best, and he got that out of you because yeah. he challenged you. Like, I feel like that's what I do. If he wasn't tall, he'd get that tall. What you stupid, bro? <laughs> you got, I mean, I feel like I'm a Coach K out here, low key, man. I've inspired generations of, of people with my excellent tutelage, and a lot of it has come with forcing them into situations <laughs> where, they, where they have to test their grit and their ability to get to the end and complete <laughs> things. Like I'm a phenomenal person in that regard. I feel like me and Coach K are similar. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. No, okay, hey, we, we gonna roll with that. All right, all right. So <laughs> clearly, uh, um, we need to call uh, Bree. And we need to talk yeah, about uh, deep, yeah, so deep his, temple trauma. You guys really go need to forever. If you, you haven't listened to episode forty nine, do that. What's what's that? Reiki. He need the Reiki joints. He need <laughs> all that. Um, and before we continue, and I drop in, uh, go into black excellence. We in the compound right now, man. Let's let's yeah, yeah, have the yeah. compound, man. Big up, man. We are at Sixteenth Street Bar here on the South Loop in Chicago, seventy five East Sixteenth. Uh, if you don't know, some of y'all know what this place used to be. It ain't that no more. At it's all. been remodeled. It's been redesigned. It's uh, quite extraordinary um, of an establishment. Look at that. Um, I'm <laughs> stop, man. I'm trying to focus. I mean, <laughs> that's why I looked at you so that you wouldn't look. <laughs> management. <laughs> but um, um, no, seriously, but shout out to Oriel. Lisa, Appreciate you, brother. Uh, 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 Josh, Rob, Rob. Rob, like the whole family over here, man. Um, it's a vibe. We appreciate uh, y'all. Uh, Sherry, like. It's good team. Little man. Little man. What up? What up? What up? Man in the building. Um, Live yeah. in studio, baby. We're going to be doing a lot of things here. We're going to definitely have some of them on the show early. Yeah. We got we got the excellent Lisa's Libations, or Libations by Lisa. Cocktails in hand. What are you having there, sir? That what was you the name having? of that flyer, too, wasn't it? Yeah. This wow, is, it makes sense now. This is an amazing Manhattan made by my girl, my friend, friend of the show, L Boogie. When I tell you, I don't even know how all these liquors taste this good together. All those liquors? It's a Manhattan. It's liquors. It's, Liquor, so you put an S all, on it. Licorice, licorice. Liquor, licorice, licorice. Uh, hey, man, fuck you, man. How about that? Okay, how about that shit? Licorice. <laughs> hey, that was a deep day. That was a deep one, too. He's, yeah. uh, he's sitting on yeah, that yeah, before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Cause, no, he, him, him, <laughs> he, mad, he mad from last week when I was, he was going through his bullshit uh, cell phone story. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it, see? I don't remember that story, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> But no, yeah, yeah, we got it. We got a great show lined up today, man. We got, we got the 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 very classic, infamous um, uh, Dave Jeff coming in the building. We're gonna be talking Brewfest, which just got announced like literally two days ago. Uh, High Park Brewfest is back. We got John Swain, who's the original, you know, the creator of that. Uh, so we're gonna have them. We're gonna chop it up with them a little bit. Maybe crack down on some of these cigars. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do. We're gonna do Elite the thing. cigars, Martez. We're what up? Do the thing. Uh, so in Black Excellence, I have to start with Aisha Curry. OK. Uh, she's a best selling author. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, cook well, she, no, the cookware sticks, though, bro. I don't know. I haven't I'm, bought I'm it. I, I don't know. Maybe the wife did buy that shit. I'm just right now. She uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, she started an initiative during black excellence. Yeah, right. You can't even finish the black excellence before you start to hate. I'm sorry. This Asia. is the crabs in a bucket mentality that we yes. as brothers in the community well, are trying mm. to establish. Wow. To be not. The, uh, you know, you got the, me. All wow. Right. The educated rebuttal is. Crab shouldn't be in a bucket, though. Yes, I agree with you, actually. Very good job. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to talk about my girl, <laughs> Aisha Curry, best on the author. She uh, started an initiative with Goldman Sachs. Well, they will invest $10 million into Black women startups, which is amazing That's for the next dumb, five man. years. That's super dumb. Right? So all my Black entrepreneurs, all my women out there that's doing something, looking to uh, Google it, Google the story, or, you know, I mean, I put the... What's name on the uh, on the screen, but that was dope. What's name? Yeah, yeah, I, p- I put the link on the screen. You know what I mean? Um, who else? Like, oh shit! Yeah, this was this was dope. Uh, are y'all in tune with Ozzy Newman? No. Okay. So Ozzy Newman Baseball, was the football. first black GM. Yeah, yeah. Ravens. The Ravens. Ravens. News, yes. It's not Newman, bro. I said Newsom. New- you did said not. Newsom. You said Newman, bro. I am within four inches of you. You said Ozzy Newman, which is why I said no. His name is Ozzy Newsom. <laughs> My dear sweet brother Noomsy. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, Excuse me. I'm just going to stay over here. Oh, Pardon God. me. Again. Right here, that's it. Ozzy Newman. Some, yes, okay. I knew some. Fuck I, out I, here. You know what, fam? Y'all friend, he friend of the show, Ozzy. Yeah, yeah Ozzy, 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 yeah, Ozzy. Ozzy. Okay, I just for the listeners, I want to make sure that they Ozzy, understand. You know what I'm 
I'm gonna fuck this boy up. He made him white, Ozzy Newman. <laughs> Oswald Newman the third. So, so, <laughs> so anyway, he was the first black GM in the NFL, right? From 2002 to 2018. Uh, so when he who? retired, um, the owner started a scholarship in his in his honor. And he didn't even want to accept it. He's like, man, fuck it. I got you. You're the first black. I thought that was kind of dope. dope for yeah. the owner. And this guy hasn't passed. So he's basically giving him his flowers while he's here. Flowers, right. Um, I thought that was dope. We also have a Flojo biopic coming. Really? Executive produced and starring. What's my girl name? Um, Flojo. No. <laughs> oh, shit. What is her name? Allison Felix. The, the funny chick. Uh, the, the one. Okay. Uh, Tiffany Haddish, yes. Tiffany Haddish is playing Flo Jones. Yes. This is not going to be yes. a good. I'm sorry. I love Tiffany Haddish as a person. That's not her. her that's not her lane. We love you. We love you. Tiffany. In my very un- from our, 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 our perspective. We're not down your, your acting either. Okay, we're just saying it. The optics don't look good right now. I just I don't. You, you I, never like, seen her play that, right? I mean, you know what though? But this is true though, and this is this is one unfortunate part about Hollywood, right? Is that you have to force yourself out of your comfort zone to get respected true, in that facts, way, right? Facts, so facts. if she doesn't take a serious role where she has to play a serious way, she's never going to get that kind of respect That's or true. those kind of roles, right? She'll always be in this tight cast, the whole girl from the thing. hood, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I like respect shit. to her. Yeah. I and she's producing it. it. She's producing. Oh, well, so, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, that's great. She's I, producing it. Shout out to that. You know what I mean? You know, how many characters is she playing there? She's probably playing two or three characters there. <laughs> you, know, you know how people do like, they jerk their own shit, bro? Well, you talking about- She's trying to get three, four checks. Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know. But it's pretty much only Eddie Murphy who does that. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out to her. You know what I mean? I thought that was dope. Um, Him and Jamie, or well, Mark, Jamie and Martin did on Jamie, the show. Yeah. yeah. Then that's actually it for Black Excellence, but I kind of want to get y'all thoughts on- my boy Tom Hanks speaking on uh, Black Wall Street, the tragedy that happened over 100 years ago. And I also want to shed light. It's kind of weird and it's fucked up that it's been almost 100 years to the day that there's a it's three surviving, uh, I guess, people from that, from, from, from that time from that, that, yeah, that survived. Yeah. They're, they're going to gift them 100 grand. I'll tell you something. Right. Bro. So that's a thousand dollars. Yeah, a fucking year. Yeah, that's pretty right. But it's from a foundation. They thought it was cool. I think it's corny. Give. I mean, they're hot. Say this. They're hundred and seven and a hundred, bro. Well, but that yeah, means, don't get two checks, bro. But what that means is, but what that means, though, honestly. Oh wait. So wait. They get. Wait. Hold on. How does this work? They get a flat check, a hundred thousand dollars. Are you saying they're, they're no, gonna pay them? No, they're, they they're, give, they're giving them a hundred. Bro, they're hundred, hundred thousand. Oh, no, so right. like, that's my point. It's well, really not it's for them. Yeah. It's for their, for their family. Right. Which, which on some real talk, right? If one of them was my great grandfather, whatever the case may be. That hundred thousand would support at least the opportunity to uplift his legacy. You feel me? Like even an opportunity to use that money to that? start something what small. Because That's a really good question. It, man. it goes fast in twenty twenty one. Oh yeah, no, it's not enough. It's not enough money to change the world. It's not I, enough I money to change year. your life. Right, exactly. 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 So it's like what it really. I think what it really might be is um, again. I would do something like hire somebody to do an actual documentary just about that person. Something that that story could be out there and, and, like and constantly get, that. right? Yep. Um, and, the, and the revenue from that can then generate more money and more funds to support the families and other families that are alike. You know what I I'm think, saying? I just think it's so trash, bro, that they've suffered like that for a hundred years. And literally they went from flourishing in their own community to <laughs> the whiteies coming over the train tracks <laughs> and killing it all off. And no one's ever been arrested. There's never let been me, any justice for that time. Let me go, bro. Let me go. Go, get your shelf. At the end of that, all that 1921, May 31st, 2021 to June 1st, 2021, they towed shit up, okay? When they finally got out where they were being held, and I'm going to rewind a little bit, they sued that city for, I think, 1.8 million back then. That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. They still ain't got paid for that shit. Yeah. Just so you know, but so... Fuck, well, first of all, Tom Hanks, what the fuck ever? You didn't know about it? Educate yourself. Just like everybody else can educate yourself, educate your fucking self. It's, it's not hidden. No, People been talking no. About it for years, man. Hold on, bro. Hold on. I, I got you. I hear you. Man. Okay. You want cool? No, no, no. My bad. Finish, finish no, what no, you're saying. Okay. I cut you off. My bad. Uh, so I want to say fuck Sarah Page. <laughs> okay. First of all, fuck Sarah Page. You lying motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Dick Rowland, a.k.a. Diamond Dick. That's what he called himself because he shined shoes back in the day. No. <laughs> So he called himself self titled Diamond Dick. Your research he, 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 mechanisms are. St- I love it. I love bro. it. Incredible. So he got to the elevator, blah, blah, blah. They get to the floor. It's about to open. Sarah screams. My man gets spooked. It's 1921. He run about that bad boy. McKinney needs help, y'all. Uh, <laughs> he, needs, he needs help, y'all. Relax, okay. man. Uh, yeah, for real. But uh, he runs out, scared. 
white men see him at the time. She, somehow a story of sexual assault was concocted. Okay. Of course. So Mr. Rowland flees to Greenwood, the Greenwood community uh, of Tulsa, North yeah. Tulsa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He hides. So they, they arrest him after a while. They bring him back to the station. They hold him. Long story short, the white people of that area want him. The sheriff won't give him up. They can't get him. So they go, they can't get him. They, uh, some black people were called to kind of help secure this guy. The sheriff denies it to this day. Right. He denied it then, he denied now. Right. So my man, there you go. Uh, so they flee back. Somehow argument ensues. A white guy tells one of the black people to protect him, hey, give me your gun. He don't give it to him. A shot gets fired. What's up, Mr. Jeff, sir? What up, Pop? You know I'm saying? Pop. So they can't get him. They go tear up. They flee back to Greenwood. They go tear up. The white folks come tear Greenwood up. They kill any black in sight on the way there. Yep. And they tear Greenwood up, OK? Yep. After all this bullshit, and the, the National Guard comes in, law enforcement comes in, they detain blacks in three places. A theater, a convention hall, and a baseball field for eight days, weeks, a couple weeks at a time. And in the end, Sarah Page recanted her story. Oh, yeah. Well, listen. listen no, that boy is pod now. Listen, man. I need, there, there's, you shouldn't you know, get to do that, bro. I, I, do listen, that. I agree with you on that. We saw this same thing happen um, in, in, in Mattel's case, right, where the cop at the very end, right before he dies, decides to confess you know, yeah, um, brain, bro. Uh, uh, so listen, man, I think at the end of the day, dog, like we do have to be clear that like we know we live in a racist America. We know we've always lived in a racist America and the type of racist America that that was in the 1920s is it was supported behavior, right? Yep, like facts. the people that made the laws, the people that enforced the laws were the lead actors in that situation. Right. Um, I think the part about Tom Hanks, though, man, that's important to point out is like we don't talk about this shit, bro. You know no. how many people just learned about Black Wall Street this year? That's crazy. You know how many people had no clue what that is? So, like, I don't blame Tom Hanks for not knowing. It's, nobody talks about it. It's not in no school book that you ever looked at. In they the took, it, they of took it out of the uh, of the curriculum. Exactly. Let's be clear. They took so it like, out of the curriculum. So, unless unless you're in these places or you're from those towns like the one in um, North Carolina, there was a Black Wall Street in North Carolina right. at one point, right? Yeah, uh, Soul City is what it they were trying to yeah. these, these places that got tore up and burned exactly, down. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Several of them. So, yeah, I think for me, man, I think um, I don't really blame Tom Hanks. I think at, this, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you I don't get, blame him for not knowing. You don't get points but, for it, though. But I give you, no, I'm going to give him credit I'm for not. the fact that he knows when he put that on Twitter, a whole lot more people just got exposed to something that nobody else would have exposed What are they going to do about it, though? I, well, that's to be found out. Shit. That's to be found Shit. out. You they, know just, I mean? they just now finna go uh, dig up what might be a mass grave looking for proof of this. Fam, first of all, y'all lied about the numbers of who got Yeah, the mass grave said, thing was interesting. Yeah, y'all got, y'all said three other people died then. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, the mass grave thing was definitely interesting. Yeah, I'm, why, why, why now? Hey, Compensate man. these people first. <clears throat> yeah. For sure. Uh, you know, that, that, shit, that, shit, that shit irritates me, man. It really touches my soul when we go there because I know, I know what our parents went through, their parents went through, and, and their parents. You know what I'm saying? And we're not too far removed from that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Right. At the end of the day, yes, just, just yes. like and we and, ain't scared to whoop their ass at this point. And look, but, on the real, this but and this is like real serious point for me. That's the most important, the important part about how we've flipped this show. The whole point of what we're doing now by pulling up to black owned businesses, pulling up to businesses that are supporting the black community, right? Bringing brothers that are going to be on the show that are also doing other businesses. The whole point of this show is that this corner is the space where we can redevelop that same black Wall Street mentality. The people that we yep. feature on this show, Bree, the people that we talk to on this show, we right. have those resources now. It's up to us to rebuild it. We don't need to wait for nobody else to come tell us to do it, yep. right? That's my favorite thing about this new format is that we get to put it right there, one-stop shop. This is the new development of the new Black Wall Street, and it's international. It ain't got to be in one location. Those are facts, man. That boy pod now. Um, let's move on. Let's move on. This is Black uh, hold Music Month. Wait, hold on, hold on. What up, brother? No, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go no, ahead, no, go ahead. What you got? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Go ahead, okay, go all right. Well, it's, 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 it's Black Music Month, right? And, <laughs> <laughs> you know... I uh, I fancy myself as a, a as a part time musician. Okay. No, you, love, you don't. You love music. I love music. I'll give you I'll give you freelance songwriter, part time musician. Not neither one of them words fit. What instrument do you play, Amon? The piano and the drums. Where? <laughs> do you own a keyboard? <laughs> I don't own a keyboard. Do you own a, a drum? I don't own a keyboard, a basketball, you don't or a drum. You keyboard or the drums that I own at my house when you come to my house. Uh, but I make the bangingest beats when I'm no, in that business. No, you up. freelance songwrite. You do have some talent there. Damn. You do have some musical. I don't, I don't like you trying to quantify me right now. Yeah, you, well, you're not a musician. 
I am a I musician. I do this for a living. I know people who do this and dedicate their whole lives to this. You gonna, you gonna stunt, stunt in front on them like that? So because I don't necessarily play an instrument, Not, that yes. doesn't make me a musician. Did, did you? But if I perform in front of, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but if I, if, no, no, hold on, hold on. But if I perform you know in what? front of thousands upon thousands upon thousands. That makes you a performer. And also a musician. No. My you, voice is a fucking instrument. Pull, pull, what are you pull, talking pull about? Up the desk, pull up the definition. My voice is an instrument. Yes, no. Yes. Okay, so I'm a musician. Okay, thank you. Now, fucking dirt back. I got, I got no 20, y'all, so it's <laughs> so, quick. So, no, the reason I'm, we're talking about Black Music Month, right? Um, I saw that Apple, they're dropping a Juneteenth album. Now, I, I thought two things when I saw that. Vocal or instrumental sounds. Talk, talking to the mic, so I want, I want everybody to hear No, that's the definition of music, bro. You said, you said look up musician. musician. Okay. All right, so, so just hold that thought for a second. Um, I thought that was interesting that Apple jumped on the June the Juneteenth thing, right? Uh, yeah, they got yeah. they got some dope artists on on this particular project. Fuck that shit too, bro. Uh, Black Thought, one of my favorite MCs, my boy D Smoke, uh, her I love her, Kirk Franklin, and and your boy Toby. Do these, right? do these proceeds we go anywhere like, in particular? That's a good question. <laughs> they they have say, to. They can't. Everybody they can't possibly be that irresponsible. I, be, I believe they can. I think yeah, it's, I, it's I, Apple, bro. Yeah, like they would they would lose. Who said it's Apple, bro? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Everybody benefits off the culture a lot of times, but the culture. Mm. And that, mm. that bothers the fuck out of me, bro. I'm with you on that. You know what I'm saying? And Definitely it, with you on that. If Apple can somehow, even if it's not fiscally or financially, which I want is appropriate in that, in that sentence, if they can't contribute in those ways, man, at least find a way to get people out here to get notoriety, bring attention, and educate motherfuckers to what the culture is. Because really, America, we are y'all culture. Yeah. We are y'all fucking culture, facts, man. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We don't mind teaching and sharing it and y'all learning because certain things y'all have given us. A few things y'all given us. A few, a few y'all given us. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But we here. We here for y'all. Pay yeah. us. No, I think, man. In blood. Black music month. Um... <laughs> Pooh Shiesty, fam. Come on. I'm going to look at her in blood. <laughs> Pooh Shiesty, shout out to you, man. Uh, boy go hard. <laughs> my only issue with the whole black music thing is like, what, what, it, what it makes it sound like is that it's a separate entity. Understand that every form of music that developed in America is black music. Jazz is the classic American music, right? Blues is the classic American music. Hip hop, R&B, rock and roll, all of this shit was started by those genres. So by saying it's black music month, it's like saying, well, they only contributed to this, you know, area and space and music, bro. Like the whole I foundation of music in America is based on the black music experience. So I, I don't like, I mean, it's cool to celebrate right, things. But, but, but no, no, that, that's dope. Well, fuck that, it but, then. I'm gonna flip it. It's Chicago music month, right? Is and, it? No, I, because I oh, fucking said what you so. Do. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. So right. I'm gonna ask y'all. I'm gonna ask y'all. Because I said yeah. so. I'm, I'm yeah. not mad at that. Right. So what? Give me, give me your your top five. What? Chicago albums. Oh, oh Chicago artists. We sent it to we him. Sent it to, right. He got it. Run, run it down to me. Run it down to me. You guys are. Right. These are the top five that that, that we came up with. I know my my number one was Resurrection. My number two. My number two was Late Registration. My number three was Kamikaze. My four was Like Water for Chocolate. And my fifth was tough, but I put the cool by Lupe Fiasco as my fifth. Okay. Yeah, go yours, Mar. No, no, you you can because I don't I don't I can't read your writing. You're talking to the mic, please. Hey, dog, it's actually typed. Yeah, <laughs> but all the AMs okay. and all this other shit you okay. got going on. How about this, right? Okay, <laughs> my top in no particular order. All right, let me say this first. We all agreed on one album should have been everybody's top ten or top five. And that was Final Tick by Crucial Conflict. Yes, to agree. Yes, yeah, that was, was my number seven. seven. Facts, so, facts. Tick These was are facts. My number six or seven. Yeah. Hey. Final uh, Tick, Crucial Conflict, Final Tick is a top 10 Chicago rap album. What? No. what? Fuck! Wow. Whoa! Yeah, you she Swain, smoke. Swain, Swain! She throwing smoke. Swain, I need you to pay attention, yeah, Swain. She throwing smoke. <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 is Final Tick a top five Chicago album? Yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No. 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 Okay, so here we go. Here goes my top 10. All right. Get you five. Mine was Common Sense B. Twisted Adren Adrenaline Rush, I forgot Conflict, Final Tick, The Brat Funkified. Y'all stop disrespecting Shante like that. Okay? <laughs> that's not a whole album. It's one song, ain't it? No, Funkified is an album. That's oh, not well, an album. I Googled it. I only saw one song. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Graduation by Kanye, Pope Pippin by Do or Die, Kamikaze by Twister, Late Registration by Kanye, Fool, Licka, Lupe, and Final Forever by Kami. Okay. Now, oh, can, can you... Um, so, okay. yeah, because yeah, I don't understand your right. abbreviations. How about this? And Amon's was Common, One Day It All Makes Sense, Conflict again, final tick, adrenaline rush by Twister, college dropout by Yay, B by Common, Ask the Rap and Coloring Book by Chance, yeah, by Water for Chocolate by Common, the graduation by Yay, and I forgot the name of this group, but it was 
you can you can't sit with us. Oh, uh, pivot gang, pivot gang, pivot gang, pivot gang. But, you know, oh, yeah, wow. that's home team. That's home team. Amon McKenna agreed on three albums. <laughs> me and Amon agreed on three albums, and me and McKenna agreed on four albums. Okay, uh, McKenna's long albums were on his own was Resurrection and The Cool. Nobody else agreed with him on that. That was just him, which is fine. It's good yeah. albums. Mine was Final Forever and Functified. Amon's was Pivot Gang, of course. Uh, Color and Book, and it all makes sense. When it all makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I struggle with the chance one, man, because doing this thing, it was the whole thing about the eras, right? Like, so it's like, what, what Kamikaze was in 90, what was it, 98 when that came out, 99, something like that? When Kamikaze came out, bro, that was, that was a different kind of twister. That was a Rockefeller twister almost, right? Like, that was when he really had become a national... Um, um when, when Kanye got got in got in his production bag with him. That, that, that was a dope, dope album for that era. And like, but you gotta give ups to the to the chances, you know what I'm saying? Because like this era, what he's doing, it, his his impact, it's not just about I took it as the songs I like. I okay. took it as the music that I like. favorites. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. The, like if I if I had to pick 10 Chicago albums to listen to for the rest of my life, I know I'd be satisfied with those we two. We all would, bro. It's you know good music by everybody. I mean, I didn't really like Final Tick that heavy, but I could not, the impact I could was not put bro. it on. Right, exactly. exactly. And for the record, nobody said, we're not saying who said anything. Conflict came out in 96. Uh, and Twisters. Came out in 97. Rush. Right. You know what I'm saying? Two very good albums, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Had people trying to so, uh, fast talk in, draws in, off. In spirit and in light of that, um, I actually do value both of y'all's opinion about music, even though I'm not a musician by definition, according to uh, Machete, DJ Machete. You're not a fucking musician. Uh, a person who, who plays a musical instrument. Stop, stop it right there. <laughs> stop the shot, <laughs> man. Say it one, say, say one more time, Bossy. Say it one more time. Musician. Hey. First of all, fuck this phonetic spelling. It's trash. Please speak into the mic. I want everybody to hear a, this. A person who plays a musical instrument, especially as a profession or is musically talented. Plays. Mm. Plays, plays, yeah. Or oh, and, and more than four hundred times in the or, last two years. Shit. I have a keyboard. I have six drums. <laughs> I have drumsticks laying around the crib with his name on it. You can fall <laughs> in my house and play an instrument. They are he there. has yet to touch any of them. <laughs> You're not a musician, sir. You are a performer, and you just oh, to eat. Buddy, that's hilarious. That's hilarious, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna say my shit for a minute. These people, man. They no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. I respect the art form for sure, right? Ooh. Yeah. Um, so the real question is, where does your actual appreciation for music come from? Stem from? What is? What does it come from for you? For for you? Where does it start at? For starters, bro. You know, let's be let's be let's be a hundred man. We're not the first people to, to fuck to music. Okay, when you were conceived, your parents was fucking somebody. Marvin Gaye, you know, Teddy Pendergrass. And you you listen to music in the womb. Okay, but True. me growing up though. In church, there's no black church without music for three fourths of that motherfucker. The other fourth is preaching. Right. If the preacher lets you out on time. But Saturday mornings, man, my dad would have this, this cleanup plan called a master plan. We get up, we clean up, he plays Steve, he played. On oh, Saturdays? Y'all cleaned up on Saturdays? Saturday, Saturday. Oh, morning. Sunday was yeah, our day. Sunday, Sunday was our day. Well, Sunday, my mom had us. Now we went on that church shit. My mama yeah, beat us up at church Sunday. We weren't cleaning shit up on Sundays, but the yeah. Lord. Uh. But our wicked ways, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we sure, bro. Saturday he did that, man. Jesus, so it just, it just Jesus, grew, man. And then, everybody, you know, everywhere, <laughs> right. Jesus, and Jesus, being in, being in sports, bro, you shit. can't have sports without music. For sure. For, for me in sports my whole life, you got that. Then being overseas, being by myself, music became my best friend. Okay. Yeah. My, I couldn't speak uh, uh, fuck, German. I couldn't speak Luxembourgish. Italian. I couldn't speak none of that shit, bro. Yeah. And Luxembourg was a mix of, like, German and some other some other language, so it's difficult. Oh, shout out to Germany because they fucking with us out there, man. Shout Absolutely. out to y'all. Shout out to you. Yeah. Know what I'm saying, but it, that's where it came from, man. And I'm glad it's here because life is a to me life is a rhythm. Mm. It's a rhythm, and everybody moves. The, Put that on the shirt. The beat of your own drums, and you know this, this, that, that. Your own right. pace. Life is a rhythm, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, that's it. Music is music is it. Yeah, I, I obviously. I mean, this is an easy answer for me. Uh, my mother was a uh, is a jazz singer, and to your point about the womb, there's literally photos of me in the Milwaukee uh, Journal, the newspaper like in her womb. Then there's photos the next year of me on her back. Then there's photos of me at two your blood, playing bro. an instrument <laughs> on stage at two, playing drums with my hands at a show. I am going to an instrument. I'm going to post my pics um, now of, of but, um, instruments. But yeah, yeah. And then my pops, obviously, um, one, one, one thing my pops gave me on the music tip, man, which I didn't recognize till later was blues, man. My pops had a, our, the whole wall in our living room was top ceiling to floor records. Records yep. and books, right? Yep. And so when I started DJing, I started grabbing them records, and it was all like Muddy Waters, Coltrane. I mean, but he had he had a crazy collection, right? He sold low key maybe about 10, 11 years ago. I was pissed at the man 
he sold his collection on like eBay or whatever the case oh, may be fuck. for a nice grip, bro. Like, mate, I was, I didn't even so ask me if I wanted in on it. We that. actually just had that conversation when we went to Uncle Jack crib. Yeah, right? exactly. So exactly. my, without, without my affinity for music started with my pops and my uncle, right? Again, they were DJs. They were some of the top dudes in their time, right? So again, we talk about rooms full of nothing but records, right? I would watch them play records and smoke they weed. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they definitely and, had and I stories, probably caught a co contact, you know what I'm saying, early. And I would just post up, trans, right? Bro. So when I got old enough to figure out, I trans. broke so many needles, right? I broke so many needles yeah. on the record player because we coming into the age of hip hop. So I'm trying to scratch. Oh my God. Hey, oh, oh, he was mad. That's not what them, that's not what them <laughs> record players was for. Yeah, oh, boy, I didn't boy, know, though. I didn't know. I was just trying to emulate what I thought. Right. I was supposed to be How many doing. How would you get for doing right. that? Yeah. No, nah, man. You know, I just tried to hide it, man. I don't know who did that. Oh, he definitely sorry. lied. Yeah. yeah, he definitely yeah. lied. That was completely. I was, I'm sorry. Okay. Right. Forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. I'll buy you some more. No, nah, man, Uncle Jack, I forgot about that. We was kicking it with them. They talking about that, man. Um, but yeah, man, obviously my whole life has been music, bro. Like I say it all the time. We didn't have babysitters. We had rehearsals, dog. Mm. I spent I spent so much time listening to sound checks and unloading drums and setting up for man, some of the greatest musicians in Chicago, dog. Like Max Roach, not from Chicago, was one of the greatest jazz drummers of all time. That's a hell of a name, too. I played Max Roach's drums when I was five. I still remember this. Flex. I was five years old after the show at the jazz showcase. My mama knew him some kind of way. Oh no, my pops went to grad school with him. So they we walk over there, they two and they talk, chop it up. Hands me the sticks, bro. So it's like, I, man, man, I could go down the list, man. Um, uh, Von Freeman, man, Red Hope, um, uh, D. Alexander, dog. Like some of the most incredible Chicago jazz musicians. I've had the very fortunate pleasure of just like being a kid sitting under their feet while they work. See, y'all, y'all have actually been in the game, man, and have got to apply uh, y'all talents and thoughts to the to y'all love for the culture, man. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm just a listener, pretty much. I, I did the piano and keyboard for a very long time. I stand on that. You also were in Kende's house and didn't and play. And did not touch the keys. So I'm not buying that shit either. Hey, Fuck out of here. A whole, Fuck you, Joe Boo. A whole different situation of why I didn't, but it was <laughs> That's good. That's a good point. That was good, though, you know what I'm saying? We too many roasting your ass, actually, if I remember correctly. <laughs> that was a great night. So what percentage of your day, you and Amon, do y'all have music in y'all ear or have some kind of music playing? What percentage of y'all day? Actually, I don't anymore, man. You see what I'm saying? I don't, but it's just because I work the music, bro. When you, when it's every day, all day, dog, like going home to listen to music doesn't calm me. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. it's it's everything no about ride, music no is the ride, business. No I mean the car. You listen. I, I listen to audio books, dog. Like honestly, okay. when I'm at the crib, no TV, no music, man. Like laid back. Like I don't. I I listen to books probably more than I listen to music nowadays. Yeah, I can't say the same. I, no, I definitely. I mean, walk, I, listen to I music. need. I need that. To music? That it, it it makes me feel a way when I can just ride for an hour, no destination, right? Where the fuck and you I, drive for an hour though? I don't know. Shit, I don't know. Say have gas, motherfucker. I, I even promise it up. It's okay. Yeah. I bet. You know what I mean? But I just ride. I just ride, and I, I may do like a half hour of R and B, right? And I may do, you know, you know, I got to get into my my, my Griselda bag, and and and, and we're gonna, we're gonna everybody that else shit, that's 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 on that shit. You know, I need I need my hip hop. Bless him, but father. Bless him. A lot of that shit, I listen to it differently than I did. Back then. Back then, right? Sure. Because my ear is obviously different, right? right? So I think early on, my early R&B shit would be like, oh, man, what song can I fuck a bitch to, right? Excuse me. Not bitch, everybody here, female, bro. right? But now I'm listening like, okay, what's the message? The, the, how does it sound to me? Sonic like the underline. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's, there's so much in that now that I really appreciate. That's a good idea, And bro. because... It may be some B-side joints on some on some dope albums that I would skip because I just didn't appreciate the music the way like I do now. I feel that. I, yeah. that's, that's just a yeah. difference. It's definitely some uh, old, most deaf, old outcast joints that like even Goody Mob, man, they did a documentary yeah. about South yeah. Trap. Yeah. It was a it was a Goody Mob album that I have World Tour. and only remember like one song off of, bro. But like, yo, I went back and listened to them albums. Goody Mob was on some super black power shit, yeah. bro. Yep. They stayed on that. I course. had not, I didn't, I, cause like you said, back then I was just listening to the beat, the groove or whatever. But yo, Goody Mob was on some super black power coming out, bro. Yeah. I listen for the evolution of, of, of the craft, of the art, bro. I listen to the, for the evolution of the culture, man, because you know, the way rappers rap have changed, uh, the way beats have done have changed, sampling. You know, I get Kanye was, was one of the godfathers of sampling. Well, he was also a great arranger. He didn't just okay. sample. And he, speaking he of samples, that, that's sample. good shit. Do y'all realize how many dope artists actually have come from Chicago? Yes. And yeah. how much of their the music long, has bro. been Happy sampled? Happy birthday, Curtis oh. Mayfield. Curtis, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Curtis. Down uh, in the back. What's my shit? My head, my head is Jackson from this joint, man. Me. Ooh. Are we on that? No, nah, bro. Nah, hey, nah, we on that? Not yet. Okay, okay. I listen for creativity when it's the music now, though, bro. 
to see how creative these people can be because you, there's really nothing new to do with music, dog. It's, it's hard to do something new. That's, That's how creative true. people have been for years now. Under the sun, beats. Yeah. yeah, dog. So I listen That's for right. creativity. And even though they may not be lyrically strong, the content may be weak, I listen for the creativity. That's why on our, our the Corner Combo podcast page, uh, I review so many albums, bro. Uh, and I, I refer them to y'all and to the group, man. I listen for creati- creativity. No doubt. That's hey, that, we though. actually, we got something coming up for that. But while we on this topic of music, we're going to get right to this. This is the perfect segue, bro. We got a, a music festival that's about to take place in Chicago. Oh, that's about oh. to pop Wait, all the way. It's about to go crazy. So we don't even want to waste too much more time. We what? What's up? Bro. We're not going to act like we didn't see uh, Washington, Oakland. The hood come out and twerk on that motherfucking squad. Oh, we're not done. We're not done. We, not okay. done. we just gonna get to the guests. Right. We're gonna get to the guests because they, you know, they got okay. schedules. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right. We, we, we done. So, so, done. so let, let, let's uh let's let's take a small chronic break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna see <laughs> <You know what's laughs> <that? laughs> too funny, man. Hey, 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 we back after that small chronic break. Uh back and better. Welcome to the corner combo again. This is episode five zero fifty. For this those who don't know, it's it's a real thing. Uh there's someone different here now. Yes. What's your name, son? Hey, my name is Dave Jeff. <laughs> Dave Jeff. Can you spell that for, for the people who can't spell or read? D-A-V-E-J-E-F-F. Number one, he just said for the people who can't spell or read, which is really him. He's talking about himself. Who can't spell Dave Jeff? I heard him say D-A-V-E-J-E-F-F. This guy. I heard him say shit. I heard him say shit. I heard him say shit. Hey, look, Dave, Dave, Dave. I want to do something for the people, man, because you are an entertainer, right? You are of the people. And just just listen. Hold on. We got to do this. Because you're everything uh, I knew. Ooh, come on. Ooh, ooh yeah. Ooh, ooh yeah. yeah. I, I knew what yeah. you want me to do. Let's just sing, Dan. That's the whole point. Get, Get on my knees, knees for you. you. I'm the ad lib. Oh, ooh, <laughs> baby. Ooh, what yeah. else is there to do? do? Hey, look, man, we, we had yes. to do that, man. Look, we had to break break yeah. the, uh, the monotony in the room. Yes. Uh, Dave, Jeff, you are here for a reason, not a season. Mm-hmm. I want to thank you again for being back on the Corner Combo, man. That's you are you the friend. first thank second. Y'all. You're the first second appearance we've had, bro. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Repeat thank offender, man. Thank right. You. <laughs> Repeat yes, offender. Re- boy said offender. <laughs> success, though. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, you, you took that yes. junkie, that success junkie approach. I see what oh, you did okay. there. Okay, way to go, boss. Another great guest. Way to yeah, go. Another great guest. Shout, shout out to Rita. Shout out to Rita. Um, get the Barlin hops in the system, get right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you, mm-hmm. you are going into a lot of different things. And I, I personally, again, I know you. Mm-hmm. I watch what you do. I love what you do. Thank you. Um, I'm happy you're here. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, damn, you, I mean, how, how much more can I can I talk about this, brother, before we actually talk about why he's here? Appreciating King's kingship, bro. You just you can never be too, never be too uh, complimentary, man, because it's thank you. We got to lift each other up. Here you. Thank you. That's facts, man. And, yeah. I, and I and I take it all in and I and I count it all joy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, saying so y'all even be here all day long. So, so the city's been going crazy when uh, they said XYZ was loading, yes, okay. Um, yes. What is X? What is X Y Z that is loading? The official announcement, okay, ladies and gentlemen. The official announcement. Drum roll, drop the bomb. Give me that. <laughs> All that. The High Park Brew Fest, <laughs> aka the new name. We're gonna talk about that. Oh, the High Park we rebranded. Summer Fest. Mm. Summer Fest rebranding. You know mm. how you know, you know, I like we, that. You know we grow. You know we build. You know we got to change. Uh, you know Summer Fest is happening this year. Definitely. Yeah, yo! The city, back, the city had the city without that. 
You, you said it. Uh, I didn't, but I do agree. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree. <laughs> but I do agree. And so do, so do like 50,000 other thousand, people. Yeah, 50, yeah. 50,000 other bad. people, no cap. Absolutely. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. So we got to get right into it, man, because we've been without music festivals. Obviously, music mm-hmm. festivals in Chicago are a staple of, yes, of right. this culture, right? Definitely. Like, just the music history, which we already kind of touched on earlier, but like, the festival game in Chicago is, is just, it's immaculate, man. So to have had a whole year mm-hmm. with nothing, and we know some festivals didn't decided not to not to come back this year. Like they decided mm-hmm. to take one more year. Mm. So I want to know who I know you can't tell me all. I okay. know you can't give me like all the super tight oh. details. Okay. But I, but you, Dave Jeff, and you the same Dave Jeff that when certain people come to the city, somehow they Dave holla, Jeff they holla at your boy. gets that phone call or right, that text right. message. Right. So they I know I know that there's some musicians out here mm-hmm. that are can't wait to tear up a stage and they can't wait to come to Chicago and they can't wait to hit you. So I know you got a long list, but is there anybody that you can maybe slightly mention or tease that's going to be on this headline roster? Some people you're considering. Let's try that. He was on a TV show and he used to always get thrown out the window, out the door, out the front door. Hey, well, okay. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, you weren't teasing at all. Legendary. 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 Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will didn't get thrown out the oh. The, the door. Yo, the last yo. name it sounds was, real familiar for this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, 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 his 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 last name is his first name is my last name. There you mm. go. Hey, so I'm I'll say super that. hype about I'll that. that. Super hype that. about that. So no, he's locked and loaded, guys, and that's for Sunday. You know, we have two days of 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 the fest, and um, yes, he's on Sunday, and then we still have we're putting together. Um, the, we're just waiting on these people who are larger now. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, during the pandemic, hmm. to call a brother back, man. <laughs> you got the info. You got the late hit. Back. I know you need to work. <laughs> hey, right, right, right. right. Right prior hit to back. prior to the shutdown. Hey, pop, man. I'm, I'm trying to get. The, I love Chicago, man. Man, let's put it together. Yeah. It's not about the money. Who out the band? Whatever. Then, yeah. Just then, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it like that. Look here. But, on. but, but if not like that, you know, like I said, we have a plethora. Of, of people that bring the music that have brought the music over the years or whatever. So I mean, you 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 might see a uh uh um uh my 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 brother Jonathan Swain help, hates when I say this. Jonathan you Swain. might see God's favorite DJ, or you might see <laughs> okay okay okay. <laughs> you, you, you might see you might you might see an old school uh, polo guy. Oh, oh God! God. And, 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 well, you might see someone that has don't give him too much sauce. crazy skills. Yeah. Got it. I love yeah. those. I love all those uh, yes. uh, slight inferences. Yes. Do we do we do we have dates? If they don't call him official back, dates, he got or he got can, can we do that? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, not yet. okay. But when you what say month, when like, you, what, can we give like oh, a okay, range? I, I'll give you. It's, it won't be in July. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> it's not going to be in August. Okay. 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 Good. So good. you see how we kick the summer off? We gonna. In the summer with I for see. y'all. Okay. Uh, That's not happening. Look for y'all. Not for y'all. For y'all. Lady, for y'all. I will cry for you. In the you summer for y'all. That's what we're going to do. Tonight. Some of y'all. <laughs> Get up, yeah. the ladies. <laughs> he, he said, if y'all don't call him back, he has options, but please call him back. You know what I'm saying? Just, just call me back. Call yeah. back. Come you know, on. Just be nice. Well, look here, though. All right. You guys were apparently missed the last song. Mm. Yes. The city missed y'all, the vibe, yes. the energy. The streets was calling, but they couldn't have y'all, I mean, man. You know we, what I'm saying? I, we missed. I know I did. I know John, Jonathan missed what we we missed the city. Believe yeah. that. Believe that. That mutual, that recipro- reciprocity, that's, that's the shit. That's what makes Chicago Chicago amongst right. the entrepreneurs and creators and the people that make it shake and move here. No, right? let, let me say this. Let me say this. Like, Pop, I've hosted many a stage, right? And every time I do is the Chicago in the house and Chicago says, yeah, back to you me. Stand the fuck up. That, that gets me through the year. Yeah. I, I ain't had yeah. that. And I ain't had that in 285 That's real, days. man. Bro, it's, I ain't it, had it's, that in 285 it's days. It's tough. So I it's need tough. that to get me through the year. Yeah. You, you know, <laughs> Chicago has a certain class about it, man, at, mm. at these festivals. I'm not going to say how classy or okay. how, how unclassy it may be. <laughs> how loud you know what I'm saying? But the fact that it was missing a year, you know, and the summer's here, and it's warm already. Yes. The fangs is out. Yes. The thirst is real. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's real as hell, you know what I'm saying? What, what kind of behavior <laughs> can you expect at, at, like the, at this event? Because I, myself, I thought about it like this. I said, I want to be security. And while I'm doing security, I'm going to go in there and be a patron as well, mm-hmm. act the ass and throw myself out. <laughs> and throw, your, throw myself out, goddammit. Like That's how much I missed this shit last year. <laughs> 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 well, y'all, okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put y'all on, on, a, on an even bigger thing, right? Okay. okay. Pause. 
Yes, pause. Immediately. I mean, I mean y'all, I'm, not talking, I'm not talking to y'all. Terrorist. He was just singing to the lady. So yeah, you're right. right. Okay. Anyway, um, we're, we're jumping after the show. The fest <laughs> will not be returning to 53rd. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah, I meant to, yeah, I'm going to ask that. Okay. Now, okay. as y'all know, we're going to go through the, 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 the anthology. Mm. Okay. Seven, 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 seven for anthology. Seven. No, I've been hanging around seven. Swain long. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, 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 Jonathan Swain. Jonathan Swain. Jonathan Swain. Get it right. Get it right. Swain. Get it right. That man went to Duke. He got, you know, he got. Oh, 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 what happened? I don't know. Don't worry about it. We, we can fix it. Hold okay. on. Well, let's that, make sure it's still working. That Yeah, let's make sure that before, we, before we tell all the stories. That yeah. we broke the internet real quick with the Duke. Yo. <laughs> with, the, with the Duke comment. Oh, the, you know the, what that is? That was the was other like, thing saying it. So it's still recording. Like, all right, so we can cut that out. Damn. He was like, this like he went to Duke. Yo, no, no, I like knew he went to Duke, but when you forgot, no, 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 no. We, had, we had a crazy conversation about Duke earlier. But we'll wait till he come on. He next. We'll wait till he come on. What's you saying? Um, put your bulletproof vest on, I got something for you, bro. What was we talking about? Oh, oh wise movie. Okay. Yes. The uh, the anth- <laughs> so movie. started out in a in a, in a, in, a, in a small parking lot, guys. You know what I'm saying? On yep. on on 55th. It was yep. probably anywhere from like a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred that 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 first time hmm. or whatever, like rotating through th- those days. Then uh, we moved to Harper's Court. We moved to the new Harper's Court. It was just on Harper the 53rd, kind of around, you know, where the higher place is yep. and everything like that. So we, that that probably 1,500 or whatever, probably doubled or something like that. And like then, the beer garden at that time was just in the was parking, just lot. parking lot. Everything just else was like lot. vendors mm. or whatever. Yeah. Matter of fact, me and Q performed at the, uh, the one on 55th. Flex. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah. We did. You. Did you play a musician instrument? Like, did you? Then, <laughs> my voice is instrument. I keep trying to tell you. Then, then as we get, there. as we get deeper into, uh, further into, the, the 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 branding and getting bigger or whatever like this. Somebody, my partner, Jonathan Swain. <laughs> Jonathan Swain. He, he said, hey, Dave, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to listen to you this year. Not that he didn't listen to me the year before. Because oh, that's definitely what I, you I'm made it seem like. <laughs> but right, not that he didn't listen to me the, the year before, but we were just building everything. Yeah. And then he just gave me the torch. And he gave me the torch. We had the budget. We had everything like this. Then now I can go through my phone and be like, hey, Nick, Mm. <laughs> We're doing this. Mm. We here. It's Chicago, whatever. And then it just grew, just grew. Just Bro, what grew. I remember about that year, dog, mm-hmm. is that was so I live two blocks away, right? Mm, right. What's crazy Around is corner, right? what I remember <laughs> is the first couple of years, like so the first one was on, on 53rd, right by the uh uh Mac Properties uh office, right? It was almost like a little beer garden thing. That was way back, right? But that, yeah, but it, it wasn't even a brew fest so, then. It was called the October Fest. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah, when yeah. I woke up, bro. I I felt the bass. Right. Like I literally was like 9, 10 a.m. doing right. sound check. And I'm just like, yo, it what's is going on? it is really loud over there. Right. So all right, I know what's happening. I know it's here. I get to walking out there when I realized that y'all had ran one stage sound through the whole neighborhood, bro. Yes. Instead of having different stages where everybody got different sound system and you get different. It was I was like, yo, these mods. Mods being a, a uh, term good, of endearment. Good thing. Good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, buddy buddy in them. <laughs> right, right, right. But, bro, that, it, it made it one party. The no. unification and the vibe that came that year changed everything and about no, that and, festival. And that's definitely what, what the, the vision I had and that Jonathan and I actually went back and forth like, no, we need this here, this, that, whatever. But I'm glad that he let me do me in it and 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 build it because I wanted that saying that was what I was going with like the party vibe like let's 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 move like no we're gonna pay attention here and it's gonna be well curated to this and then we're gonna have people dancing and moving now in my vision maybe in a dream I thought you would it would probably be from uh Harper to damn near Woodline right, but when right. We saw, I mean maybe but then when we saw it like that it was just like, oh my goodness. So to the point of this whole conversation of this piece is and why we're moving is, it's because it's gotten, we, we, we've we outgrown our footprint. Yeah. yeah we've because, outgrown our footprint. Yeah. Thank y'all. Thanks, you Real Chicago. Talk. Real talk. Thank you, look, everybody. Without the support, you can't grow. You're Chicago in the house. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Been in the house and thank y'all for supporting us in it. And so it's grown. And so now the new place is the new place. Hey, oh, there you go. Okay. There's so, the location. A lot of space. Yeah, man. a lot of space. And so, I mean, a lot of space, oh, and you have the good. full optics and 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 of of yeah, we, we better still parking are in, for in, sure. In, 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 a, in, a, in a right, a pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you you can stand away space from somebody and, and be. And then so um, I've been uh, given the task too to uh, create the experience. 
So my vision again too is to make the pleasures look like 53rd. So okay. We'll wait to see how we do that. Let me ask you this. Did you feel pressure or rushed or did y'all even feel pressure or, or rushed to do this this year? No, like uh, th this is the, the funny thing, tr true thing. People have been asking me since, what, the, when is it, June, way before whatever. And so my whole statement was, hey, Jonathan said he waiting on God. <laughs> waiting on God. <laughs> said, I, feel waiting on God. I, feel, I feel that. I feel that. Tell him what we're doing. And yeah. Stuff. I'm not arguing with God. For sure. Nah, I'm for not sure. arguing yeah. with Jonathan waiting on God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, look, that's the yeah. easy way you tell nigga, man, get the fuck out of my business. I can see you in there, man. Like, <laughs> but like, like I said, so I just, I walked with him on that. We still with him, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and here it was. And then I got the phone call, like, hey, man, they letting up the city, man. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to do it, but we can't do it on 53rd. And I was kind of like, what? Doing on 53rd, like, yeah, like, that's the hall. It, do, it did and feel so, a certain way. So at it first. took him to be like, hey, man, meet me here at nine at nine o'clock. Whatever. Okay, yeah, eight. Like, <laughs> eight, 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 eight. It was, was, was a like, 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 I might have drove right past. And, and when I got there, when I got to the midway, I saw it. It was kind of oh, oh, yeah, 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 but it was the way no God to talk to him. He talked to me, and now we all talking to each other. That's what's up. We in a group. FaceTime. Beautiful, man. That's dope. Beautiful. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to ask you this real mm -hmm. quick. Because we got, we going to get the man Swain on here. He, yep, over, here, yep. he over here itching to, to yeah, correct some of this I record. I can take like see him, bro. <laughs> so, um, favorite Hyde Park Brewfest moment for you personally so far? Whew. Or sorry, Hyde Park Summerfest. Yes, so, rebrand. Yeah. Let's get the rebrand. High Park Summer, Summer, Summer Fest. Fest. High Park Group Fest is now the High Park Summer Fest. Thank you. All right, loading. Um, <laughs> uh Favorite, yo. I know it's a lot, but like, just pick the one that stands out right now. When I know mine. When Jazzy Jeff came the first time, and it was amazing. Uh, uh, nighttime. Candle uh lighters up, you know what I'm saying? Like this was like definitely some movie type shit, some 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 cinema type shit or whatever. Definitely. And I'm like, this is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Mine, mine, what year was it that Clark Kent, D nice, uh, and uh Rich Medina was all eight, there? That was like 17. That was like seven, that Yo, was on the court. We did the after party, dude. Oh, like yeah. when I tell you standing there behind that stage, I still had this picture like like yes. in my like vault of yes. memories of like. God damn it! Well, I did something to earn this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's you here, bro. I'm right. standing behind them three brothers. They got all three turntables all yes. connected at the same time, and they are going back and forth, yes. spinning on different joint. Yes, watching the whole crowd just elevate, bro. There's no better moment. I, I oh, you brothers, and thank you for that opportunity, okay, hey, man. Real you, talk, like you. them thank brothers, I cast it. I love. I but that was my favorite. That was my favorite time. Like I like I've been on. I've been uh, on the road. I've been. Uh, on, the, on the road a couple of times with Jeff uh, via Terry Hunter. Terry Hunter's my big brother. Yeah, shout out to Terry, Terry Hunter. Hunter. Terry Hunter be closing us out on, on Sunday, so another tidbit. Uh, that him, Alan King, that whole that whole piece uh, uh, to that. But um, so I've I've gotten to see Jeff like get down, pop like get down. You know what I'm saying? When he and, ended. and so it was mandatory that Jeff got down with us. And for Jeff to be on 53rd, like we all know 53rd, yep. like I've done some unspeakable things on 53rd. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, 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 but we're, we're all uh, made anew. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? And so to have him there, do that, see the lights, see the city, having fun, rocking, can't see, see, see. Like Man, can't even the see the down, last person the that's last there. The last person there, whatever like that. Like that was my best moment. That was my favorite moment, the best time Dope. right there. I'm like, um, this inside just saying thank you a, a million times yeah. for, for this because that was a blessing all day long. All right. No incidents, no nothing. Great vibe, you know what I'm saying? All That's what they don't talk about. Yeah. No, yeah. not a, not a one. Oh, we're gonna take that this, uh, nah, this year. I'm there this year. I mean, it but you know, like, like this year. Nah, it was definitely some shuffling. Get get the, get the but hell out of here. Everybody else is like, you, we but not own that. We're not gonna let that ride around here, partner. Like, you finna take that elsewhere. Some people, as we know, everybody can't hold their lip. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of liquor at this event. Talking to people wise, crazy, and who out the band more. Some people get to jumping on stage when they not supposed to be on stage. That's a whole story, huh? They might okay. That's a whole story. Mixtape a little bit. Mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Mixtape. You know, and 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 it's. It is what it is, but that's, that's not what we about at all. It's all about the vibe, yo. That's, that's one thing I so do how love how, and respect okay, about that, that area, though. No, I'm just sure. I'm just gonna say a little bit. That's uh one thing I do love and respect about that area. 
and about those events, man. People to to get along and go along and enjoy, man. And exactly. Get the fuck on and go home. And go home. That's it. And go home. Up, what what other media spaces are y'all using to get the word out here that it's back? And we are. Are we doing television? Are we just strictly uh, viral? Yeah, like we, we we have our our, our PR. People are definitely going to do their due diligence in it. Yeah. Uh, my relationships, too, are definitely going to get us where we need to be in other places. So we'll, we'll definitely be on, on the radio stations. We'll okay. definitely get um, uh, a couple of different, like, uh, podcasts and everything or whatever. Like, we, we fuck around. It's going to hold press run. Well, I mean, you do understand that we we are the official podcast for uh... Summerfest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? Let me tell you something. No, let me tell you something. You have to speak it to existence. That's, well, what's, that's what I, what's super funny is this was a conversation that we had, and specifically and explicitly said it would be a conversation that we, we have had. after the month. <laughs> no, it, it felt right. It felt right. It felt right. He Bob Costas over here. It felt right. What do you want me to do? People, it felt right. This is the corner combo, man. You know what I mean? Did she? Was she under the desk? I love that, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I hate this dude. Yeah, man. No, no, I feel good. Y'all, before y'all close out, y'all heard us have a small conversation. Maybe y'all did, maybe y'all didn't. Just give us a couple. Give us a couple of your favorite Chicago rap albums. That's a good call, yeah. Uh, you are part, you are the culture. All, all, all day. I would say- You're uh, of the culture of Chicago. So by the pound. I mean, not so by the pound. Uh, common sense first. Uh, can I borrow a dollar? Can I, borrow I said okay. that the first yeah, can, time can, too. Can I borrow a dollar? Can I borrow a dollar? On that. And, and I mean, one, he's spitting on that. Two, I'm, I'm on the cover. Yeah, and, 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 yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Because you have bias. You, you, you in the background no, 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 dancer. Don't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's definitely automatically <laughs> disqualified. Disqualified. I'm saying. I'm, I'm totally biased. That, but, but boom. Um, no, we, we, the crucial conflict. That whole sound of, 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 of that. Uh, the crucial conflict, the the Pope Pippin, um, um, uh, Shana's, uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, what was the, the the her her and Tifa's project? Oh, oh I can't um, the name of it. Yeah, yeah. No, that's about, a group. Um, that's a group. Uh, yeah. That was like 05. Uh, the inf infamous city. Inf yeah, infamous city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. She underrated. And, and, and uh, Fat Joe was supporting them. Shout out Tifa. Day. I forgot. Yeah, all day. Yeah. All day. Um, that that that's all. That's all. Chicago. I mean. We can't. I, I can't necessarily put them in order because yeah, yeah. it's, 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 it's so many. Probably it's, it's, it's so yeah. many. Because Terry got dope albums too. Though. Yeah, Terry's still working you know on music. He's still right, producing still shit right now. Music, everything like um, I remember. Uh, old my mama had the city on smash. Yeah, old my old mama, mama. We, 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 can, we can go there. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely, definitely all about Chicago music though. That's what's definitely. happening. We we've changed the the. The, the narrative of the music, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Everywhere else. Uh, yeah. Everywhere else. I mean, from the yay, even down to the drill, so you know beats, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. all that. I mean, unfortunately, like the drill scene is kind of like, like, so, like, like tearing us down. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you know, to that. But I mean, you, you get ratchet every time. I got some favorite ratchet songs. Hell oh, yeah. Yeah. One ratchet song a month. What was that? <laughs> Akinyele? Akinyele? No, but don't sing it now. Don't do yourself like that. No. But yeah, we all know what the Akinyele song is. One of my favorite, I give it Definitely my shit. for two seconds. Uh, Little, little recent young child. Oh, this At one the they just top, came out with. Yeah, yeah. Us, nigga, that I mean, that does something too. You know how when you know we, we know that music. Fair. Yeah, but, man. but you can't listen to that all the time because then you just go out and get right, get out the yeah, 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 you know yeah, 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 right, 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 right. Same, 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 same way if you County. listen to uh, bombs over Baghdad, you will get from uh, South Loop to uh, South Suburbs in like five, five minutes. minutes. It just be gone. That's the same way you listen to some Teddy. Now you want to hit and holler at everything. Oh, Teddy. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you don't know, this dude's this huge Teddy Pendergrass fan. This is the man. sixth time he said his name like, in like 20 Teddy. minutes. He's saying Teddy today on the mic. I got Teddy, I got Teddy yeah. on, on, on Pandora, man. The, the first time yeah. he came to the show, he kicked it off singing uh, Al Green, How Can You Men? You know okay. what I'm saying? Oh, that's true. Today he came in, he got on the mic because we look like a group. He, he, he jumped right in, he, he sang some Teddy. Yeah, yeah. that's what's playing. Play How Can You Mend a Broken Heart. That's the How shit. Can You Mend a Broken After Heart? two drinks <laughs> and and... A, a cigar. An elevation. <laughs> An elevation. And just drive slow. Okay. And I'm, with, I'm on that. See what, What's it called call again? Me, What's it called call call again? The, Why would uh, I call you? I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. 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 Spell it, spell it for the people that, that don't know better. Allies backwards for I love High Park. Uh, I love helping people. Illinois holding paper. I love hitting plan. Whatever is fly That's to you. Dope, wow. Whatever is fly to you, right? Talk your shit. So um, uh, I signed the lease over here in South Loop. Man, probably like 
20, man, 16, 2017, almost or whatever. Like and that the whole long, piece, man. the whole purpose of the, the, the space over here was going to be a new retail space, right? And so the alpha space uh, whole theme was just like doing better brands, um, you know, the beginning of everything fly. And so it just didn't happen like that in, in the retail uh, uh, sense of things, uh, just because um, the, the place where I signed was, was having issues, whatever. So if I was supposed to be in the place in three months, I didn't end up getting in the space oh. almost a year later. You right. know what I'm saying? So, you know, business change, partners change, you know, things like that or whatever. So <clears throat> kept it, took it on myself or whatever, but kept the integrity of, of the alpha space, the beginning of everything fly. So it's my creative space, yeah. but it's allowed me to uh, help build other brands, you yeah. know, and this is what I do, um, you know, uh, on, on a daily basis, you know, no, no with that. And so that's what the space is. And so if your, your, your brand is, is, is together and you want to have a platform to push it out or whatever, holla at me. Yeah, that's dope, yeah. man. We definitely. And then every time I drop new fly stuff, then it becomes a fly store. Right. right? So right, I pop right, up right. in my own space. That's dope, dope. Man. Yeah, we that's definitely got some merch coming out, man. We definitely going to consult you on the style. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you uh, give us the right pointers so that we can be in here, man. Much love, man. Much appreciation to you. Coming, Joe, you know it's always Love, Brando, ain't nothing like okay, having the, ain't nothing like having the original Dave Jeff on hey, on, hey, uh, the on, on the corner. Hey. I just need to know. I just need to know. It's Chicago in the house. Let me hear you say yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 What, 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 what they said? What they said? All right, and we're back. Oh, you just took the shades off now. Huh? Better, well, no, 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 no. I got never again. I got something for Swain, man. Uh, Swain is uh, our official manager now. No, no, no. Say his oh, name right. I'm on. sorry, John, John, Jonathan Swain. We didn't even do the man bio. Yeah, or nothing. No, 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 no. We, we, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We're gonna cut that bullshit. Oh, you want, you want, you want. Yes, yeah, you introduced the man before you. Come on, man. Ready? We'll, we'll, all right, go ahead. I'm Stop. sorry. I apologize. Don't talk. Don't talk to me like that. Come on, man. Public. For real. I'm not being fucking serious. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let you. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you. Okay. All right, yeah. all right. Are you serious? <laughs> Goddamn celebrity culture, man. <laughs> now we gotta wait for her to get your phone wait, back. Yo, just talk. No, no, just put it right there. Okay. All right, all right. All right. Go ahead, bro. And in five, four, three, two. two. <laughs> so we are back we are back man corner convo super special edition man this is the the, the high park summer fest announcement edition we got two of our favorite brothers just before all this corner convo podcast stuff all that man these are just solid brothers uh in multiple ways in business and entrepreneurship and community development and community building uh and to that point as you can see we have uh i don't know if it's my left or right based on your particular your left back there right but, uh, um we have our good brother Jonathan Swain. Jonathan Swain. Let's give it up. Uh, great, great to be here. Great to be with y'all. <laughs> you know it. No doubt. No doubt. So um, we'll run your resume down as we go. Okay. But um, obviously, we want to just jump right in. We just talked to Dave, man. He gave us a little couple of sneak peeks about sauce. what we might expect, man. But um, we want to talk to you, man, as one of the as one of the you know original founders and, and co-creators in that regard. And um, we obviously know that you're your aspect of the business is very much so the business. You right. know what I mean? And one of exactly. the things about this show is like, you know, it's great to talk about all the fun and all the parties and all the artists and all the athletes and all like that. But we want to make it a space where we also teach people how business is done, right. how to do it right, mm -hmm. um, and highlight those that do so, man. So um, just talk about it a little bit, man. Like, what was it like to have to make that decision this year, man? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, Dave said about it, man. We wanted to be prayerful about it because, I mean, look, at the end of the day, we no one knew what was going to happen, how it was going to happen, when it was going to happen. And, uh, you know, we saw um, I mean, we weren't hopeful. Right? I'm not going to lie to you. We weren't hopeful at all. And when we saw the, you know, Silver Room and Eric, uh, uh, decide to, to cancel till next year. And, you know, Eric and I, you know, friends, and we talked throughout the year about different stuff. And then, you know, I, I definitely thought the chosen few was going to go ahead. Um, and when they decide to pull the plug, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, well, I mean, the probability is going to be pretty low. And right. so I, I uh, made, made a decision that said, look, we're, we're going to set, um, cause it takes a while to put this stuff together, right? You can't just pop on a dime and have an event like this. So we, um, I made a decision and said the, the, the last, the, the, I was going to wait till the first week of May, in the first week of May. And if there hadn't been a switch, we had nothing, we we're going to pull the plug. So I'm in, I'm in Mexico, me and my wife having a little vacation. Flex. And I get to... <laughs> <laughs> I knew you weren't going to let it go. Yeah, I knew you weren't going to let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Little flex. laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. La Riviera Maya, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> all inclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was there on a discount, but anyway. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, man. So I, you know, my, I got my phone on for a little bit, and I see that they're talking about reopening on July fourth, or, or even I think June eleventh. They said it was going to open up, get see, stage five, yeah. and I said, well. I think we can get this done, right? So then talk to some people. Um, you know, we had to weigh a bunch of factors, you know, you know, equipment availability. You know, there is a labor shortage out here, so that impacts a lot of things for Absolutely. vendors, right? Um, you know, got to talk to Dave about the possibility of talent. I had to talk to, you know, find a, figure out a preliminary budget to figure out what this will mm. look like, right? Um, because because there are a lot of different costs that are going to go in. And, and then I had to talk to my nonprofit partner, the High Park Chamber. They've been with us from the beginning, so... Uh, had to get, you know, kind of get their feel about what they will be willing to support. Um, because even, even last time we had started having conversations about maybe 53rd Street might, might not be the best place. And, and how can we expand? How can we do this? Because we want, above all else, man, it's not about about packing as many people in the space, man. Mm -hmm. right. It's about having a good customer experience. I'm, I, I come to this from a business perspective of being a retailer and having family of retailers. It's about having a good customer experience, right? Nice, and everybody's a customer. Even the vendors are the customer. The talent is the customer. The the people that attend are the customer. Let's want to have a good experience, man. So when we worked through all those issues and came to some meeting on the mod, we said, you know, we could uh we we could probably pull this off. So oh, man. pull the trigger, man. No, I love that. I love that, um, brother Jonathan Swain. <laughs> um, I don't know how many people follow you, but I do. Right. And I know you are an avid reader. I am. And I know that you are a thinker. And that's why I follow you. And I got to give you kudos for even following us because I, I told Kende, I said, no, man, he watches the show. I was yeah, like, no, I he do. doesn't. Yeah, he's like, like, no, he does not. Right. He's like, no, John, no, not him. I was like, nah, bro. I'm like, I'm like, like, no, bro. I'm like, I work there, bro. Like, I see this guy every day. Bro, he's never mentioned this bro. show. Jonathan started speaking to me a whole lot more. When the oh. show came out, I'm like, okay, I know he I'm watches, show. right? Well, yeah, that. Show, man. Look, 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 I'm gonna give y'all props, man, because you know when when podcasts and stuff start going coming out, people I talk to say, look, people get to a max of three episodes, man. When well, y'all on 50, 50, bro, commitment, 50, committed, right? I mean that that means you're committed to doing something repeatedly, man, and getting it done with quality and excellence, man. Y'all got to be applauded for that, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I am a natural born West Sider till I die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I cannot Still help like it. A, I love it. Speech, you know, but uh, everybody knows it's Kim Bart. It's impactful. It's, it's Chicago, man. You know what I'm saying? So to know that you are connected, the boss of what's going down in the summer, which I hope, which sounds like I'm hating, the only event this summer, so y'all can rake in all the benefits. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm that kind of, I want blood. That's, that's my mentality. I want blood. <laughs> We're talking all the benefits. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad. I ain't mad myself for feeling that way. You know what I'm saying? Being that y'all were not here last year, is there a certain feel? That y'all want to grab a city by and pull them back mm, in, man. Good man, question, we, man. You know, um, you know, I'll tell you this, man. When when we decided to announce that the that the the summer fest was loading, right? Me and Dave talked about. It. I said, Dave, we need to do an image, man. We're just like mm -hmm. a bar and loading. I told Dave, man, he had the word of loading on there. I said, adding the lips. Then was a whole the dialogue yeah. about what an ellipse was. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, an ellipse? Oh, ellipse? Oh, you one of them? Oh, you one of them like tits? <laughs> Where'd you go to high school then? <laughs> right? But no, man. But, but, Y'all had a Ken Damon argument. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but when we put it out there, man, and, and I remember making the post, man, um, because right now I was managing the social media, made the post at uh 6:35 on Thursday morning, man, and just you know I get up in the car, I take my car to the shop, and my phone at like six. 55 just starts going crazy yeah and it got you to the point where you're like man man there, there's one um we're grateful for the response mm -hmm. two we feel a responsibility to deliver for the city man, man. right because the city man, the, the, you know without waxing too philosophical man the city you know especially black folks in the city man they, they're just in need of something man, man. Yeah, man. they're need they're need facts. of something that the story or something to uplift because every day you turn on the news you're being told about all the stuff that happened here, 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 and here, right? And it does two things. One, it makes us think and and, and think that that's all that happens, right? right. And, and two, 
you know, it, it creates an atmosphere, man. It makes us feel like, man, this ain't our city no more. Right, right, right. 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 So when so we don't we, even belong in our we own don't be, home. Right, we don't belong in our own city, man, because it just elements are, are causing us not to feel comfortable. When we really know, man, there's more of us than there is of them. Facts. facts. Right? Big facts. Okay, so, so the deal is when we see that, man, it's like, wow. And so we're excited about bringing the city together, man. I mean, this is going to be a part of the uh, city of Chicago, uh, Chicago in Tune Festival that they're doing. Yeah, yeah. DK's um, it, Department right, of uh, DK's, uh, Cultural Affairs. DK's, Shout out right? Commissioner Kelly. Um, you know, it's going to be it's going to be something that's going to bring everybody together, man. man right. Dope. I mean, it's something about when people get together, man, and talk about unity and talk about being togetherness. Right. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's yeah. a beautiful thing, man. And we need more of it. So for us, man. So we're just trying to trying to create an environment, man, where we all because look at the end of the day. You know, Dave's, Dave, Dave has helped make the fest what it is. I started with the idea, you know, from, from a beer sampling to what it was, man. But it's us that made it what it is. Man, you know? real talk, man. Right? Real talk, man. It's the us, community. man. The it, community. It, 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 it ain't. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Dave in the back of the Bible, man. Dave got Dave got people. Dave got host Tourette's. <laughs> Two years out. He just randomly wake up in the morning. I bet you if you ask his wife, that boy's being asleep. It's Chicago. It's Chicago. The real talk, man. It's this, man. It's man. It's it's about us, man. Because I mean, because think about this, man. Think about this, right? 1980, 1.2 million black people in Chicago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is projected by 2030, nine years from now, to be a little over 600,000. That's, That's a 50 percent decrease in 50 years. Mm. And there's so many, there's so much to that, man. It's so, it's so much to that. that. So, so, so if we can create an atmosphere, man, where we can come together, right? That we can build, that we can uh, um, um, uh, 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 just have community, man. Talk about the things that are positive and amplify those things. Doc, it lifts the spirit, man. So, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to. It lifts the spirit while you have spirits. Absolutely, man. what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, bars, all these bars. <laughs> <laughs> you dropping bars. Spirit on top of spirit. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I don't normally do this, but uh, he, he gonna Google why he Google Jesus. This is, he got yeah, for sure, for sure. So I want to I slightly pivot away from Brewfest, man, because you, I mean, summer, you do Summerfest, man. Summerfest, summer fest, it's man. so hard because it's it, it's because it means heart. something to my yeah. heart. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, I, I dig it's, it. it's yes, HPSF. That sounds like a, a body spray that you do when you go to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> but but um <laughs> uh, um no, no no but you do a lot of different things. Yeah. But one of the things I definitely want to highlight you on. Um, you do nonprofit work, man. Yep. You work in the educational space, yep. which is obviously something super key to me. Mm -hmm. um, talk about the organization, man. Talk about what you all do. Um, and and get this, what is it, about three, four years now, right? I've been doing it three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three years, three years. So I, I am the CEO, president and CEO of an organization called Link Unlimited Scholars. Uh, we've been around for 55 years. And our, and our goal is to use education as an economic development tool. Mm -hmm. uh, we were founded by a white couple, actually, who lived in Winnetka in the 1960s. Thank you, white couple. <laughs> exactly. No, they're good people, man. They, and they heard Dr. King when he came to Chicago and asked the question, mm. what could we do? So they took a kid on the South side, help him get a better high school education. Cause in the sixties, you graduate high school, man, you set, you, right? yeah, you yep. had a job, yep. Yep. help yep. get a little college. Yeah. Right. Yep. And so they did it again in 67, 1968, the world go upside down. And, and they asked 11 of their neighbors to do the same. Wow. And so that's where we were born from, man. And so while the goal has moved from finishing high school to accessing college to now making sure kids are ready to complete college, right? Uh, it's still the same, dude, because the fact is, is that when you look at median average earnings, median earnings from someone that has a, a high school diploma versus a bachelor's degree, that difference over your working lifetime is a million dollars. Wow, huge. Wow, okay? mm. And when you look at the, the statistics to say, when it comes to four-year college graduation rates, that black folks finish 50% less than the national average. Wow. We got to prepare our kids to go, man. And so our, our program has been successful. We, we far exceed the national average when it comes to uh, four year college graduation. And we take kids that are coming in ninth grade, working all the way to high school, making sure not only they are they prepared to access college, prepared to complete college. We want to make sure that their GPA is as high as possible. And we also want to get them a sense, man, of of being able to uh, define themselves for themselves. Y'all mm. belong, right? y'all fucking okay? belong. That, that when Absolutely. you go into a world and you go to a school, man, because we want you to go to school almost debt free. We don't want you saying nothing, right? Facts, man. But you're gonna go to a school, may not have people look like you a whole lot of. So the question becomes, are you gonna let the world define you for you? Or are you gonna define yourself for the world? We wanna make sure they know how to do that. Yeah. And that, that's why we do a lot of education through a black lens. We use black text. We have black teachers in our, in our summer school um, so that they can be in front of black, black, 
educators, which is not always the norm, like it was when I was growing up, right? right? So so they can do that, man. And, and thankfully, we got kids, man. We got one girl going to Duke this year. Hey, Ooh, right? hey. We, we got a couple we, people at Harvard. For her. We got a yeah, good one. She's going for free. Yeah, you got right? free for her. Little man, what's up? <laughs> little man. What's we up, got a new man? guest on the show. Right, right. Little man. Right, right. No, now they but, always uh, come to you first. <laughs> but yeah, man. But we got kids. We got kids going to Harvard, Princeton, HBCUs. Um, you know, U of I, um, University of Michigan. All these places, man. And Let's they're go, succeeding, man. man. How do they get in right. tune with that particular program? Man, linkunlimited.org is our website. Okay. Um, we're in recruitment for our class of 2026. Okay. Um, in fact, and we actually started a, a seventh grade program. Um, for kids in 10 neighborhoods around the city, again, committing to the city for folks that want to try to get into the program, man. But, you know, you, you apply in your eighth grade year and uh, it's a whole application process. We evaluate it, we review it, we help you pick your high school and set you on the way, man, so that you can uh, can get access to college and complete college. This is That's proof brilliant. of what we say on this podcast repeatedly. We beat you over the head with all our listeners in all the countries. This generation... We are the generation that's breaking and changing tradition. Mm -hmm. Changing tradition, man. You are proof mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. This organization you run are proof of that. That's it. That's right. When well, you... and I'll tell you, I'll tell you what's interesting about it, man, was, you know, the program was a, little, a lot different when I came through, man, but I was a student in the program. My oh, really? Were, oh, yeah. oh, I didn't my know wife, that. I was a student in the program. That's my brother was. My wife was. You um, You know. Um, wife too? My wife was too. Yeah. Mm. And so, so this, man, this is, this is dope, what we, man. people always ask me, people ask me, man, why you stop doing or not stop? But why you go from doing that to doing this? Why don't you want in education? What are right, you doing? Right. Because man, we, we you know the organ. I was chairing the board, needed a CEO. I said, man, this organization means a lot, and I love education, man. So let's go. <clears throat> I do have a question for That's you, right, bro. Uh, being that Kim Bark is a staple in the city, mm -hmm. how did you feel when they when they hit you? Oh, and and, and what what was that that feeling oh. and that transition? Because I, you just gave us a lot of positive. No, 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 no. The no, reason I'm asking is no, no. The, re the reason I'm, the reason I'm asking is because when the boards were up and I said, oh, okay, he's working, and then I saw the hip hop like Hyde Park letters, yeah, like yeah. it was creative, and I and I always go to in this pandemic and everything that's been happening. If you were not, if you are a creator and you didn't create anything to make it better and do better, when I saw that, I said, okay, he didn't give up. He's still here for the people. And there were people actually taking pictures in front of me. Yo, there lots of them, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, one year anniversary of it. I posted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. One year anniversary of the boards being finished, man. Wow. And, you know, I so reposted that, yeah. Did you did you feel a way like, okay, I don't think these people are going to hit me. Oh, I don't think man. my people are going to hit me, I say that. Man, let me tell you something, man. I, you know, my wife and I, the night before, um, all the stuff was happening. We didn't know what was going to go down, right? And, you know, my, my wife just said to me, she said, whatever happens... Whatever happens, don't react, respond. Okay. Okay. Church. Don't, 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 don't Church. get, don't basically don't get in your feelings. Yeah. You're going to have, if something happens, you won't have some emotions. Step back and make sure that you are responding the way you need to. Right. Mm. So, uh, so I'll never forget, man. Um, for some reason, the alarm didn't work. <laughs> Yeah. or the phone my phone didn't ring or something like that man and i looked at my phone i got up in the morning i thought man i made it through then i went to facebook man and and, and truth is some somebody posted a picture of my store the window broke. Yeah. that's how yeah. i said yeah. 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 so, so social media right. fuck out of here yeah. yeah. so, so i get up for worse social media I know, right, man. Right, right, man. right and and i so i get up and i go man and we go in there and uh um you know it, you know Called police, whatever happened, they come. They don't remember what happened, they come, man. But but I, I went up there and I walked in and I, you know, I wanted to make sure nobody was in there, wasn't nobody in there. And I posted a response. And I remember my wife said, she said, make sure you respond. So my post was, I'll respond to this later. Went in the store, man, the emotions just hit me. Yeah. Right. Because, you know, not only you feel violated, your legacy right there, not man. knowing you legacy. At the time, my dad was dying of cancer. He yeah. since passed, yeah. but he's dying. And, and I'm sitting there saying, I can do this. Thank you, sir. Power, and power. I'm, I'm thinking like, like what? Right. Then I saw the video. Oh, the actual uh, security video. I saw the video. <laughs> and when I saw the video, I said, oh, okay. Yeah. I see what this is. Yeah. This is opportunism. Yep. Mm -hmm. So right. now, so now the question becomes, how do I respond? Mm -hmm. Which is, which is, look, man, I, I'm not going to beat up on nobody. Um, there are a lot of conditions that bring us to make the choices that we make. Right, yeah. uh, you preach it. I hope people make other choices, but they don't. But the fact is, I can't, I didn't, for me, I didn't want to be a vehicle 
to take the attention away with what was important, which was George yeah. Floyd is dead. He should yeah. not be. Yes. Yeah. And we're responding to the legacy of injustice we've had in this country. Yes. So I wanted to make sure all my comments were around that. So so after I got over the initial moment, and it was some tears, I mean, a lot, ain't gonna lie. But once I got past that, it was, let's use this moment, man, to put the focus where it needs to be and represent what we need to represent for our community, man. And so um, hopefully, I, hopefully I, the trust I was given, I was able to do that. So that um, you know, we can start having a conversation, man, about all the all the the, the lack of investment that 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 had, that created this situation, man, for people to make these choices, right? Yeah. No, so I remember that morning, man. I can't because I, I saw the same thing. I was just coming back from Milwaukee, man, and I like they had blocked off all of the exits off of Lakeshore Drive, and I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, I live over there. Like, how do I get home? Right. And they sent me all the way to 63rd before I could go around yeah. Stony or whatever. But I remember that morning. I remember one of the things I was thinking to myself because I had just stopped working there, and um. I mean, we pulled up and I remember watching, you were standing outside and yeah. like you were just standing outside the store. And I was just like, man, like, he was like, bro, I'm just figuring it out. I'm exactly. just figuing it out, bro. Exactly. Like I'm standing right here. Like in some ways I'm standing out here to protect my joint, but also at the same time, I can't stand out here 24 hours a day. Like, and I don't want to go, like you said, you didn't go, you didn't go heavy military. You didn't hire, hire nobody with no machine guns to stand outside the store overnight and nothing like that. I was but available. You just, <laughs> <laughs> like, got your own personal terminator now. Right, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> but, um, but, but you also did install them a uh, new, new, new uh, shutters. <laughs> mm-hmm. and and new and shutters. I, I, you learned, you learned. Yeah. security in there, installed some new shutters in yeah. there, man. But, but, you know, uh, but, you know, it was, but I'll tell you this, man. It was a moment that taught me the power of community. Yeah. Right. So I'll never forget the first guy that rolled up was a guy named Henry Bills. Right. Yeah. He saw it on Facebook, just rolled up. Brother, I'm here for you. He's the manager of my store now. Dope. General manager. Love. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. You saw like neighbors coming by and reaching out, man. Then when we did the GoFundMe for, um, for for the to keep the, uh, everybody paid while we were closed, yeah. bless, man, bless that us. was filled up in three days. People all over the country. Right, Love. filling that up, right? Love. And then talking about the boards, man. Um, shout out to Manny Baisley. He reached out yeah, and said, look, man, brothers want to do something. Yeah. I said, okay, come do something. And yeah. they came up with the idea. And we was in the parking lot when they pulled up. They were like, man, what do you want to put up there? And I said, you know, you know, because I'm I'm tired, I'm exhausted, right? Put up uh, you know, high park, man, put up Chicago flag, and then put up uh Black Businesses Matter, man. Right. And this whatever. And I had no idea. What they yeah. was gonna the response. No, that was they art. Was that was yeah, art. Yeah, yeah, that was art. Yeah, yeah. I still got those boards too. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. You still got those boards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, that, are, those are collector's items. Now, now, are you in tune with NFTs? Have you heard the, the term? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank, thank you. No, no. He, he's not talking about the stocks. I'm not talking about stocks. You know, he's talking about non fungible tokens. Non functional tokens. Non fungible tokens. Yes. Yeah, they're so basically you... digital, ID, digital IDs for certain good. things. Yeah. Well, he didn't know what they was. All he knew was NFT because he can't get past three goddamn letters. So he never explained, nor could he explain exactly what it was. Here's the thing. My genius, my brain works oh, way on, different. I'm not going to do that. I ain't I'm just telling you, my brain works very different. Plan. So, you know, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you, my genius works different. Thank you for, for validating me to these dirt bags. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, man. You, um, you're not getting out here, though, without answering you? the same question that Dave Jeff had to succumb oh, to. I'll see, man. All right. Come on now. Give, see, you, you ain't got to order. There got to be no kind of order. None. Give us at least, give us a, a few. If not five, a few. Well, man, let me tell you something, man. I, you know, I, I like music of all types, and I'm not, in, I'm not deep in it like Dave is. Um, okay. And, and plus, man, you know, when I left, left, left school and went to, went to, uh, went to Duke, man, I was really more in the house music more than anything else. Mm-hmm. And, 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 honestly, and I got my hip hop education uh, on the East Coast when I went out there, right? Hello, um, you okay? speak his language. Right? This I mean, boy I mean, over here. you know, I mean, the cats out there talking about when I was going to school, talking about this cat Biggie Smalls. I'm like, Biggie who? Figure what? Right. Right. And that's why I really started getting my education about stuff. I see man. what you did that too, though. What? I see what you did that too. Yeah, that was pretty smooth. You think that was right? That was pretty slick, right? Right, right. But 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 I but I'll never forget Colin's first album, man. Cause because I Can remember, I man, them, man, being homesick and watching, like I think I was watching the video or something, man, and it had a picture of Harold's in the video next to my store. My my oh, it yeah. was my yeah. hair store right yeah, there. Yeah. It was yeah. Yeah. I, I just remember, man, like. I was homesick, man. I'm like, that's home. So wait a right? minute. So, so you chose the same album that's also directly tied to who you are as a person as Dave. Did. Basically, yes. <laughs> so Dave on the cover. You, Look at your God. Your was in the video. Look at God. And that's Look at God. Look at God. You know what's funny though? You, you know what, what's funny is a lot of people, including myself, I didn't know on that album, Comics from Chicago. 
And yeah. I love rap. Me either, I've been listening to rap. Time. I did not know. Mm -hmm. Because it's like he was never here. But if you like I think Dave said in the previous episode, if you didn't move in them circles, you didn't know. You didn't know. And then so when we knew about our East, man, because it was like everybody talking about all these New York cats, right? Right. All these you know, East, North yep. Carolina. Um, not so much in the South at the time, man, but Jersey, New York, and everything like that. You had a cat from Chicago, man. It was like you could match with with him. Yeah, no, yep. Chicago. Yes, yep. you know, because uh, you know Chicago had a reputation. So right, I feel like Chicago up. created backpack hip hop in a lot of ways, but that's a different conversation. We don't get credit for nothing. That's, that's man. a lot of that's a different nothing. conversation. So we got one more question. What for up? There's 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 this um, very clean split in the group here. Um, in regards to one coach, Mike Krzyzewski. Hmm. And as a Duke grad. You mean, you mean the GOAT? Duke. Oh talk talk about it. As a, as a Duke business, is it business school, right? No, I want Duke, no, Duke undergrad. undergrad. I came back here to go to business school. Okay, okay. Yeah. So as a Duke grad. <laughs> um, and Abbasi is, yeah. our, um, is our resident NBA coll collegiate NCAA. So no, yeah, like, get in the background. Like he played, he played he at a real level. Indiana State definitely okay. was recruited. My, my high school overseas. teammate threw all kind of oops. Had you know nothing to do with a mine who was sitting the bench and getting negative, zero tip negative, and not getting negative. Yeah. Yeah. NCAA tournament but overseas. Boy is a real baller. Mm -hmm. He has a very different perspective. But before he shares his. <laughs> We would like to hear from you, the Duke grad, about <laughs> as, a, as, a, wow. as, a, as a black man at Duke. Wow. As a brother, wow. he put more pressure on. He said, as a black wow. man. I see that. See that. I'm gonna get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get Tony Coulter here too. I'm gonna get Tony Coulter here too because I know Tony will talk about this yeah, shit forever. So, Grill. so, so, look, man. At the end of the day, man, coaching is about leadership, right? And, nice. and 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 you can say what you want to say, whether you like Coach K or not, for a lot of reasons, man. The brother's a leader. And he's led a lot of different folks at a lot of different levels. And he's adapted, right? I mean, nobody, I remember back, back in 99, man, when Eldon Brand left. And it was a big deal. EB. Because he used to not hang banners unless you, every, all the people graduated. Oh, mm. if you went, whoa, yeah. whoa. Yeah. So if, there was a, mm. if they won a championship, but all of the team didn't graduate, graduate, he wouldn't hang the banner? That's the word. He wouldn't hang the banner. Now, mm. I, I know, obviously, it's probably not the case now. but So I should hit him more now. <laughs> Talk your shit. I, I pay my dues let finish, on let that finish. team. Now much, now much. We talk. And, and my, my little Bufa from uh, Memphis didn't graduate. My Wait, better go there. Well, I, 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 I'm terrible at that. I'm but, sorry. I'm terrible. Well, let me say this. But but I but I think I think at, at the end of the day, man, Coach K was about trying to build men, right, and build legacy. Yeah. Right. So say what you want. I mean, look at the coaching tree. Now look, I don't agree with John Shire being a coach. I'd love at him. all. I'd love at to all. see Jeff Capel. At all. Right? Yeah. Who's there when I yeah, was there? Yeah, I'd love to see Jeff Capel, yeah. right? But look at the coaching tree, man, between Capel, Tommy Amica, Johnny Dawkins, Quinn Snyder. Uh, uh what's the brother from Notre Dame who, who actually was, was was the guy for me? Oh, you got um, your boy Wolge, uh Steve Wolge House, Wolge House Chris yeah. Collins. Look at the tree of people, man. And then it's just a tree, tree of good folks, man. Grant doing his thing, right? There's the tree of great folks that come out of the program, man. I mean, you can't argue with the leadership. Now, basketball choices, you could have you could have arguments about that. I never forget, man, when we were when we were down there in the 90s, man. Uh, we were watching the game and it was five brothers on the floor, and we were like, What? These five black people mm. playing for Duke basketball. Like, what? Mm -hmm. yes. That was the thing. That was yes. the, that was a running joke that it was never ever five brothers on the floor. <laughs> yes. And all of a sudden, one day we were like, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> what? Did you see five too? Yeah. You know, the light skin guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I mean, I don't, and I don't think that well, was driven by race. Skin. He wants to, he wants yeah. to put the best people on the floor, right? Yeah. So, but um, but yeah, man. I mean, I don't think there's gonna be a coach like Coach K. You know, level headed. Um. You know, right. unlike the people of Bobby Knight, who he was raised up under, um, just a man, just all around great coach, man. Right. You know, all around great coach. Why is he telling why he's wrong? There would never be another coach K because there would never be a motherfucker that that flipped his stance Whoa. so hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> from uh, not liking one and dones and building teams to oh, give me Kyrie, give well, me Zion, give me Jason Tatum. You know well, it would never be another yeah, motherfucker look, like that. Look, look, look. I'm, no, on, on that on that point, look on that point. I ain't gonna beef with that because because when I saw him flip from saying that that wasn't his kind of thing, he, did, he, he didn't want that. he didn't want to be he didn't want to be John Calipari, he didn't right. want to be Rick Boom, Latino. Name I said, you right. got But now all of a sudden, but 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 I guess the point I'm making is as leaders, man, you gotta evolve, right? And if and if you here's the thing, if that's the way stuff is going, right? And you know that you have the opportunity to affect a young man's life even for a year to make him a better man and, and, keep a better boss, and teach right? him about what he and really about to see at the next too. level instead of going to somewhere good. where they don't care. Go out there, who? Let me look, show you look, what this man is really gonna look like. Yeah, mutually, mutually, you make it sound exclusive. so good, big right. dog. Exclusive. So good. Hey man, I went to law school. I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm saying. 
it's not mutually exclusive. <laughs> but man, what the hell, man? Let him do his thing. Yeah. I mean, really, no. But seriously, man, Coach K, is, Coach K, you know, I ain't got. He it. might be Legend, the goat. You're right. Legend, he's the goat, man. He's the goat. He's the goat. I gotta ask you this, and this what? has nothing to do with anything. What is the like the most? <laughs> what's what's the most ridiculous fact that you know? The ridiculous fact. Oh, ridiculous fact that I oh, know. Oh, you that you that smart guy, huh? Number one, you random. Oh, 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 yeah, just, just, just the word random. The word of ridiculous is a fucked up qualifier. I know, right? <laughs> I know what he meant. No, I'm saying I got like, a brother like that. He's so smart. He knows it's, it's, you got like, no business fucking. The, strong, no, the strongest no insect is the animal. Like that's I know. I, I, the strongest I know, insect is an is an is an ant. Now let me tell you something, okay? Let me tell you something. Just random shit. Yeah, I do a lot. I know a lot of random shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me, give me one random. Give me one random. I, I, I can't fuck I told it you, I told you, I can't look. I know. I know what I know, and I know what I don't. You ask me a question, I can say I know it or I don't know. I can't uh, pluck in my head and say. Uh, all right, okay. Yeah. The hard drive's full. Yeah, it's full. Yeah, mental hard drive's full. You know, Have you always wanted to be an entrepreneur? Um, no, I didn't. I was raised <laughs> in it. I was raised in it, and honestly. Part of my being in business, man, was really trying to make, make my dad proud of me, mm, okay. right? Um, I think if I was to look back in my own career about what I wanted to do, man, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a guy that likes doing, having impact in policy, impact in systems, um, and entrepreneurship is one way to do that, yeah. right? And one way to really affect real change, man. But um, I, 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 that's, that's kind of, I like, I like public policy. I like, I like uh, uh, education, educational policy, the kind of work I'm doing with Link, okay. right? Yeah. Um, Anytime we can affect some systems and make some and change some narratives, I enjoy that, man. So that can be in business, that can be in community stuff, can be anywhere. Got Dave, it. Dave, listen up, my good sir. <laughs> Use the microphone, Abasi. Baby, on my case, I'm sorry. Because Dave, you be texting us after know, the show man. like y'all can't hear me because your face is over there. <laughs> I'm new to this. I'm new to the thing they've been doing this, man. You know what I'm saying? This thing, I'm, I'm okay enough to be on this with them. I'm okay with that. school. <laughs> so he went to a basketball school. Jonathan Swain did. If y'all had a shooting contest, who winning? Ooh. Who winning? Now? This, this, this now or prime? Are we talking right now or prime? Now. Right now. Ooh. Wait, let's start bro, with you. Whoa, 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 Bro, you swim. Let's start. You're a swimmer, bro. You're a swimmer. Start. Let's start. You swim. <laughs> Do you own a basketball? Let's start there. It, either one of you. Yeah. OK. I, I, see, it starts there. You have to own a basketball before yeah. you get it. Thank you. Hey, go to bullshit. tomorrow right now. Hey, go to bullshit. Thank you. So <laughs> you went, you say you went in, uh Dave, you say you went in Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a good contest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't I don't want to put my brother out there like that, man. It'd be a good contest. So check it out. We got we got we we kicking off a versus this summer. And we because everybody think they everybody <laughs> say they're the best shoot. You ain't talking to nobody in Chicago. I'll take it out, I don't care if you played in third grade elementary school, you still think you got the juice, right? <laughs> and most people are cooking smoke out here. Let me let you make make this real clear, bro. So we kicking off a new versus. Hey, I just saw Mr. Jeff. We, we signed we signed it Dave, we signed it Dave versus Jonathan. It's a shootout. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta play no one on one. It's only shots. It's only, only shots. jumpers. Only, only jumpers. Because we too old to be trying yes. to hustle and chase people yeah, around the court. Hurt the next day. So y'all, y'all are the first. Y'all the first. Uh, first, <laughs> first, I'm gonna kill him. First, he gonna get murdered live. And he never gonna <laughs> that. Then I'm gonna kill his wait, best wait, friend to COVID. Wait, you see oh, on that shit. oh no no. Then I'm gonna kill his best the friend to COVID. COVID. He shots. can smoke next, right? Y'all 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 third on the roster. <laughs> Look, I, don't, I don't get to play. No, hell no. <laughs> you still look like you can build a rim. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Swain said, no, hey, me, no, no, no. You, you, you're a ringer, you're a ringer. You out of here. Oh my God. Hey, look, Listen, look. Man. Uh, yeah. We actually have a, 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 a real big announcement that we didn't even talk about. We do? Yeah, we do. Um, yeah, I don't and yeah. I like to speak <laughs> things into existence. You put a shade back on y'all, just so y'all know. Yeah. You put a shade uh, back on, right? right? yes. Uh, brother, brother, brother Swain is officially our manager. <laughs> I don't think that's real. Y'all <laughs> hey, ready? Oh God, oh, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> For the ladies in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. For sure. <laughs> See, first of all, oh, this so complete. Oh, what what is tell you this? But I'm gonna be real and say what's on my heart. I don't know the word. 
first. Take no. this chance and make this love feel relevant. Did you know I loved you from the start? Oh, yeah. 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 All the years we put in this relationship. We know we make it this far. This is a solo. I have no idea. I, no. I told him I know these words before the show. Just play this song anyway. Can I kiss in a photo? Maybe you I try, I try to man. Fuck it, fuck it. Let's go. Fuck it. Hey, he didn't flinch. He didn't buzz. He didn't change positions, bro. No, no, no. I appreciate that. I appreciate. We got, we got, we got work to do, man. Much, much love to you, brother. Can't say enough, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me and Dave on talk about the fest, man. Yes, sir. Y'all were blessed. Y'all were blessed. It's a community thing, man. We look forward to community coming out. Can't wait, man. Absolutely. We need it. We need Dave. We need a performance slot too. We. No, nigga. We we are we. <laughs> Message. We are, and we will talk about being the official. Yo, before we get out of here, though, we definitely just want to send much love to Oriel in the back, man. Hey, Oriel. we got 16th Street Bar, man. Bro, listen, man, if you ain't in tune, and I know you're not in not tune. Get past this twerking, though. I know you're trying to run about this. I know you're yeah. not in tune about 16th Street Bar because they just redeveloped. They did a whole new layout, man. It's beautiful in here, man. We calling it the Black Cheers. I low key don't want y'all to come, but I know we. Got to support oh, the business. Oh, yeah. I want it to be mine. I want it to be my personal. <laughs> so I want it to be my personal bar. Yeah. But uh, no, please, please. We got a lot of stuff coming up. We doing happy hours for all the professionals. It's gonna be a great spot. Shout out to Libations by Lisa. Libations Rob by over Lisa. there. What she had us cocktailed out. That's why the show is probably seven hey. and a half hours. But, uh, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Don't hate me. Don't hurt me. Okay. Did y'all see the twerking on the squad car video? Oh, yeah, shit. so did. What what's what's she? You was saying? driving the car, bossy. We know this. That's not the point though. <laughs>